let's uh let's remove Hound and his mini. <laughs> I just started the stream. <laughs> <laughs> No sensitive content, huh? Oh, God! Look at that, Irby's crying now! You made Irby cry! Do you know how Said. easy that is? <laughs> Said. Very sad. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that! He's right. the saddest fan I know! I'm gonna start my stream. Live with episode... What the hell was it? Was 18. This? 18. Episode 18 of the Discharge. Yes. yes. New friends and high seas. High sea is a good form of orange juice. If you consider high sea orange juice, I may <laughs> have to kill you. <laughs> Just saying. Well, you know why I live. You I have do the know ammo to do it. I do have the ammo to do it. So what's the But I, I... I... I meant Isaac. But, you know. The answer still stands. You know where he sleeps? You have the ammo to do it. <laughs> As the DM, I have all the ammo I could ever need to do it. <laughs> and you know where he sleeps? Therefore... Tell me. Austin's discussed his new character's backstory with you, right? Uh, this brew roughly. Of tea is really good today. Mm. Okay. What what brew of tea are you having? Uh, Yorkshire Gold, but sometimes I. So, sometimes it's not the same. Is it against Twitch terms of service to drink alcohol on stream? Yes. Okay, then I need to make a disclaimer now that it's on video. It's not beer. It's fucking root beer. All right. Nice. Calm down. Cancel this motherfucker! <laughs> hey, Benji. Good boy. Is Austin coming? Because yeah, he should you, be. You said beer, and now you're gonna get canceled. I said beer. Now I'm gonna get canceled. Fuck. <laughs> Did you watch? Good. We're all canceled. Did you watch no, the video not. that I sent you, Dustin? The... Um... The Biden one? Yeah. I tried to watch it, and then my sound wouldn't load. Um, so I had to restart all my sound headset stuff, and then jumped in right into this, so no, I have not actually watched it. I clicked the link, but I did not actually watch it. Hi. Oh boy. They were debating whether or not you were actually well, showing up. What do you, fucking what do you mean? I told them you were home and they were like, isn't he home? Where is he? Yeah, I got I, shit to I mean, do. We normally don't start until ten minutes afterwards anyway. In, in all fairness, you don't have anything to do. I, exactly. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the most I'm gonna do is sit here, start up my Ooh, stream. And hey, I'm hey, voice mod. Hey, T, hey, T, one thousand. Oh. Chill out. I don't have voice mod. Uh, what do you keep mean? Your voice You're done is full fun. robot. Yeah, you are full robot. You've done a uh, full totem ball torture man again. Try turning it off and on. Again. I bet I pause the game. That seems trying to download. That might help. Is it better now? No. 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 Well, that wouldn't be the problem because Josh is fine. That'd be, that'd be great if you were playing an automaton, but... Oh my gosh. Change Which that kind of was. Change your character. Now. <laughs> change the character. Now. Ah, uh, no. I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm good. You're, you're, you're full fucking robot. Is it, so. is it still fucking? Yes. Yeah, you're, you're still full fucking robot. <laughs> Voice mod just in case. But it shouldn't be. I'm noticing that, for whatever reason, even OBS doesn't have my thing. It says it's mm. on clean, but it's not supposed to be working on you. Anyway. Weird. Weird. I shouldn't be running through voice mod anyway right now. I don't know what it's running through. Voice and video. <laughs> Hmm. 
I would check check your mic connections. Now we can't hear you. Yeah, I can't can't hear shit now. Hello. Hello. Yay! Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yay. Yay. I I started talking and no one responded. Yeah, oh, we can't see hear your you. mouth move. Yeah. Yeah, we could see your mouth moving, but no sound. Yeah, I kind of figured. Right. Live screen switching everything over to D and D from Adventures in RNA to Destroyer Man. Destroyer Man. Oh, that's right. I'm probably gonna actually have to launch Tailspire too. I didn't say that. I mean, eventually, you'll need it. I hope so. <laughs> Since, I'm, you know, I'm gonna the introduction take, of my character is through Tailspire. I'm going to take my sweet ass time. <laughs> Speaking of that, though, um, do you have a mini or am I just using a placeholder? I haven't even bought a mini. Because uh, I, okay. I, cause I, I just threw a placeholder yeah. in, in the, the spot for now. I might. Do I want to spend ten bucks on a mini? I don't know. I mean, you say this campaign. Couple is more months. Nearing an end. The, yeah, this campaign is nearing an end for season one, at least. And if you guys enjoy it, then I can do a season two. Ah. Oh God. <laughs> let's wait and see. If, let's wait and see if there's a season two before you buy a mini, Austin. Well, he said that even if we're nearing the end, it's still going to be a couple months. Isn't that right, Dustin? It, it might Dustin, be one to two you months. want my ten cents. Yeah. Mate, we're going to go into another... Ah, fuck you. We're going to go into two more Starfinder campaigns. After a Realm of the Dead, which is hopefully going to be a very short campaign. Save your fucking mm -hmm. cash. Well, that'll be two months down the line. I'll be fine. I, I'll decide while you guys are playing. We yeah. might be in yeah, a new you, place two months down the line. You decide, exactly. and if you just if you do decide to do it and get one, let me know. Otherwise, I just have a character saved under unique, literally just called Austin's placeholder character. I will say, I do like how the character looks. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so, while you're figuring that out, I guess we'll jump into it. Where we left off. Oh, it's not even $10. I'll, I'll buy that. Holland had, uh, succumbed to his mental distress, and... The party, after pre-meeting Hound's remains, went to a bar where Isaac drunk everybody that has ever existed under the table. <laughs> and those yet to exist under it as well. Yeah. Yeah, and then, then you, uh... You made your way back to the ship, and it seems as if you know, there's a there's a very somber tone aboard. The word of what has happened has spread. Maybe not specifics, but the the knowledge that one of the shipmates has passed is at the very minimum has made its circulation. So there's very somber tone, and as you drunk few stagger back aboard the boat... I got carried. <laughs> yeah, or carried back on the boat. Um, they notice the distinct lack of a certain individual. So they can they can very well put to 
to gather who it was that has passed if they didn't already know. With that, it is late evening, and Isaac, you're drunk off your ass. The rest of you, well, um, Kubo, you're sober, but Wolfheart, you're you're recovering, and Silva is also slightly recovering from being drunk and passed out. And with that, the uh, evening is yours. We'll start Isaac or Wolfhart. Do either of you two have anything that you wish to do? I wake up in the medical ward, right? Yes. Uh, that's right. You're passed out. So you, yeah, yeah, I guess Kuba, where where do you put Isaac? Uh, I put ward? him in the medical ward on one of the beds. Okay. All right. So you, you take him into the ward room. Um, there aren't really any beds in the ward room. It's just the long table that doubles as the surgical table. Yeah. So you just kind of lay him on top of it um, and go to a small cabinet where you pull out a a small pillow and, you know, sheet that, you know, it's not the best thing in the world, but it, it'll do the job. You lift his head up, prop the pillow underneath him, throw the sheet over him, um, leave him there. Also leave a bucket Still, uh, at the base okay. of the bed. <laughs> All right. You, you, you reach over underneath one of the other counters and you grab just a a steel bucket, and you, you lay it next to her. Silva, uh, upon boarding the boat, just kind of hiccups a little bit and walks back to his to his bunk. Wolfheart, do you have anything you're wishing to do? Um, I'm probably going to go find my new gun. Well, no, that's back at the boathouse, isn't it, still? Um, Captain Reddy probably would have had it, everything by this point brought and stored somewhere, although you aren't sure where that would be. Well, then if I'm pretty sure I don't know where that's at, um, I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay. Alright, so, Kubo, that, that leaves you. Okay. So after I leave Isaac there on the table, go back to my personal quarters where my bed is. Alright. You, uh, you creak in your office. You can see they've tried to put things back together from when Captain Reddy was going through everything in here, looking for the the journal. Um, he's obviously missed a Missed a few things. It's not as clean as it was when you left it this morning, but is my bed at least clear? Your your bed is cleared. Okay. I would They're, have like the a... the books are just kind of set off in piles. Um, you can see papers have been shuffled around on the desk. Okay. Do I also have like a like a nightside table kind of thing? There there would be a very small kind of night and table bolted into the to the floor. Yes. <laughs> so I go I enter my room and I close the door very slowly and then I just lean back on the wall and I just breathe for a couple breaths push myself off I start to walk towards the center of the room and I take off my knife, and I just drop it on the floor. I unshoulder my rifle, drop it on the floor, clangs to the ground. And then I unho unholster my pistol. And I look at it. But I just set it on my nightside table. then I start to take off my armor. Um, normally
normally takes five minutes to take off heavy armor, but I would be taking my time with it, so it would take me about seven minutes. Yeah. And with every piece that I take off, it's just a little sense of relief. And I get it all off, hang it on the wall. I just feel such a great sense of relief. Because it seems as if my armor has been getting heavier and heavier as the day has gone on and on. And so this is literally a weight off my shoulders. Oh. Yeah. I just stand there, you know, leaning against the wall, just breathing. And then I go back to my bed, sit on the edge of it, seconds and then I look to my nightside table and grab a picture frame that I always have there turn it over take the picture out frame back and I just hold this picture in my hands and I say I'm sure by now the Navy has declared USS Walker as MIA since it's been weeks since our last communication they probably think and they've probably told don't give up hope I will do whatever I can to come back home. And I promise you I will see you again. And then I lay down on my bed, picture clutching over my heart. And I just lay there until my overwhelming exhaustion consumes me and I drift into the darkness of slumber's embrace. Okay. So, as you fade off to sleep, um, you know, at first it's just pure blackness and then you... You wake up, or so you think, um, and you are in the woods. Um, but you are not in the woods that you're familiar with here, out near the city of Balkpan. No, you're, you are in the woods that are near your house, in the world you know, the world you come from. You see, you know, the old trees and maybe even a tire swing that you had when hanging from one of them when you were young or maybe that you hung for one of your own children. And you hear a very beautiful, very melodic whistle come from within the trees. I go towards the whistle. Okay. So you, you move towards this whistle uh, enchanted by the sound. It's, it's like the most beautiful songbird song you've ever heard. And as you go deeper and deeper into the woods, um, you turn around and look back from where you came and there's nothing but trees. Which you think is odd because you know this area, you know your house should still be visible. But you see nothing but trees everywhere. And you turn back around to where the whistle was coming from and 
standing still in front of you is this incredibly gorgeous woman. She's dressed in dark green with some light green accents, you know, very, very bright blonde hair. And she's stunning. You can honestly not remember anybody ever looking this beautiful before. And she says, My dearest Kuro, it is unfortunate circumstances in which we meet. I've had my eye on you for a while now. I have an offer for you, if you would wish to accept. And who might, and who might I be taking this offer from? You may know me as Titania. As others may know me, the Queen of the Summer Court of the Fae. Interesting. And I guess why have you been keeping an eye on me? You hold life sacred. As do I. You attempted to save one of mine many years ago. And while it did not end the way you had hoped it would, it showed your heart as that of honor. And I now find need of your services. And what kind of favor will I be doing? Well, you see, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the courts of the Fae. But for each court, summer and winter, there is the queen that was, the queen that is, the queen that is to be, and then they each have their night on each court. My night has been missing for some time now. And I feared the worst, but could never prove it until I felt his power return to me but a few nights ago. I wish for you to take on the mantle as my knight, Sir Cooper. You will be granted powers. Well. Not too dissimilar to those you were once familiar with. What do you mean, once familiar with? Well, I'm sure you have noticed. Your armor is heavier than it once was. It was not the weight of the day on your shoulders. You no longer feel your oath inside. 
could you not tell? And the powers granted to you by your oath have left you. And so I offer you this power as a replacement. And all you must do is serve as my knight when I call. Responsibilities would I have as your knight? The Fae are limited in how they can interact with the mortal realm. We cannot directly influence things. And as the mortal champion of the Summer Court, you would have such abilities to sway certain things that may need to be changed. That I, myself, am prohibited from doing. If I say yes, all I ask is I guess I just have a question before I say yes. Is there a way for myself and my crew to go back to our home world? An interesting question. Just a couple days ago, we met a dragon who claimed to have been able to travel between worlds. I, yes, I'm, I'm aware of Ryujin. And it seems you know the answer for yourself already. But how did he do it? Was that an innate thing, or did he go someplace at a certain time? <laughs> he had consorts with such powers. A power that should you provide adequate service in my name could be granted to you someday. So I just, you grant me these powers and then I do your bidding when you call? Precisely. What kind of task would I be put on? If I ask any of you? Those will be for my choosing. And I do not have any yet. But I can assure you, when I have one, you will most certainly know. So for the time being, just go as I go. Indeed. It will give you time to acclimate yourself to your new abilities. Do you accept, Kubo? I pledge myself to you, to Tamar. 
Excellent. And then she walks up and pulls a knife from her waistband of her dress that you did not see. And she flashes it over your hand, giving you a, a cut that you barely feel. And then she grabs your hand in both of hers. And you feel a, a strange warmth flow from her through your hands, encompassing your whole body. It feels like a warm summer's day. A salty breeze on the ocean. And as quickly as it started, it's done. And, and as you were feeling this, you, you kind of closed your eyes and you opened them. And you're in your room aboard USS Walker. It is relatively close to dawn, yes. Um, is there like a scar on my hand? So you look, and there is. There is a very slight, you can just barely make it out, but there is a very slight slash across your hand. Small and stuff. What? Oh, <laughs> you forgot to set up your stream. Thanks. No, I, okay, I set so... it up. I just never started it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rip I had it all booty. set up, and I was just like, "All right, we're starting. I'm gonna eat some food." And then I just look over. <laughs> it says go live. Catch up! Oh nice. my god! <laughs> oh, so What's up? Oh, sorry. Oh my god, it's a returning viewer. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Hey, did did they see did they see you grant get your new powers? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they just came in. <laughs> well, welcome. Oh, you just missed some uh, some very fun theater of the mind. Oh. Um, but... <laughs> Ubo do be pallid. Do be the warlock, warlock now. now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> So, as you try to go back to sleep, um, the general quarters alarm starts ringing just as you're starting to drift back off to sleep. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, every time. Hey, Dustin, so, buddy, old friend, old pal. Yeah. Has anyone actually told me what I'm supposed to do when that goes off? I thought we went through all your, your duties on shooting and firing the gun, and that is your station. Yes. But has anyone told me, hey, the alarm is going off. It, you it, it, would have, your... it would have been explained that when that alarm goes off, you are to report to your station. Okay. Nope, I was just making okay. sure, because a few times yeah. we've been like, hmm, I don't know what that <laughs> means. No one's told me this. It, yeah, it, it would have been explained to you, because... Drills still happen for most of the crew um, during, you know, on, on occasion, two or three times a week. You guys just typically aren't ever a part of them because you're off doing all the other shit with, you know, killing dragons, hunting down indigenous grig, slaying super lizards, 
creating oil wells, all that fun stuff. So typically you're not a part of it, but yes, it would have been explained to you. But yeah, so the general alarm bell starts going off. So you all hear it. And I'm assuming you all report to your stations. Rapidly. <laughs> never okay. thought about so, what clothes I have, what clothes I own, because I always wear my <laughs> armor. You you would have just, like, standard naval issue stuff that we need at the very minimum. Okay, I I wear that, I do not put my armor on. Okay, so you burst out of your, your room as you were just trying to fall back to sleep, kind of wiping the uh, exhaustion out of your eyes and then you look back at your hand again and you look up and you see Isaac kind of shake his head. Um Isaac roll me a con save. You got it. You are you were very fucked up. I was. That was the <laughs> plan. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Let me pull up my sheet. <laughs> uh, pretty decent con saves. It's how I got so fucked up. Hey Benji. Nope, not NG bad up. NG. Uh, that's an eleven. Okay. So No. Who as 11. as you as you walk out of your That's a fourteen. Your, your office. Okay. That doesn't change anything. As you walk out of your office and then in into the wardrobe, you see Isaac kind of take his head, he throws the sheet off to the side and rolls completely off the table with it, falls to the ground. <laughs> I'm just gonna get yeah, up you're muted, by the way, Justin. Is there any puke in the bucket? <laughs> uh no. No, he does not have to puke, but he does roll off the table and fall onto the floor. Come on, and you get up plotting an alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you you know the alarm. You just didn't realize you weren't in your bed, so and you're you're a little out of it so you threw your sheets off and what normally your arm would have hit a bed your arm just carried you and your momentum rolled you right off the table you're like a, a kid who teleports when they sleep <laughs> yeah. so then you, you you know Isaac you get up you make your way kind of gripping the railings come on gripping yep. the railings as you make your way to the engineering quarters, who are you there? Wolfhard, as you get to the deck of the ship, you notice a very large, very familiar structure entering the bay. This is another one of the homes of the people. This home, you know, as Naraka. And so, as you see, as the general alarm still is going off, you see a lot of the guys that are kind of on the gun stations have... Ow, Benji, why did you just bite me? Have uh, kind of relaxed a little bit, knowing that, you know, this is a home of the people, or, or at least seems to be. And uh, a couple guys are there with binoculars, and they start saying... No, it's more of the Lemurians. It's more of the Lemurians, and that word starts spreading through the through the ship, and eventually makes its way to everybody. Uh, the general quarters alarms cease, and Captain Reddy comes makes his way down from the bridge, and comes to find you three, and asks you to escort him to the Great Hall. Alright. Alright. Okay. So, you escort him as you are driving or piloting into the to the shore with your on your whale boat. Um, you can see the, the massive ropes of the Lemurian being thrown over and hauled in by some of the smaller fishing boats 
as this great home gets pulled in and docked uh, just on the other side of Savisa. And then you notice a as it as you dock, you kind of walk over towards Salisa and Kaji and Adar, Nakja Mur are all there and they kind of wave you all over, including Captain Reddy, and you walk up and they introduce you um kind of just gesture and say, This is Naraka, another of the homes of the people. Her high chief is Kasra'ar. I would assume they are here for trade, but they will enjoy hearing the stories. And as you're kind of just sitting there talking, um, another small launch leaves Naraka after it's fully tied in. And you see uh, a small contingent of armed Lemurians escorting one in polished copper armor. Uh, he's, he's black and white uh, to the shore. And he comes out, his uh, guard follows him. He comes up to you and he he walks up and he kind of grasps knock jumper like the not a true the typical handshake like the grab each other's wrist handshake they lock arms and then release and they say some things in Lemurian um Wolfheart you pick out you know Nakja Mur says uh welcome home brother oh <laughs> but Wolfheart you know it's not his actual brother. It's not his blood blood brother. You would all understand. Welcome home, brother. But uh, only Wolfhart knows that's not his true brother. Um, and then Noctumur just kind of turns and gestures to you all, and then he, he turns back to Kasra R and says, "These are our new friends, the Americans." They are helping against the plight of the Grick. They saved Salisa. And Kasrahar replies, Yes. Speaking of the Grick, I'm afraid I have bad news, friend. As we came to the bay and the sun started to smile upon the surface of the planet, of the earth, the unmistakable white and black of a Greek ship we could see no more than half a day's sail from here. Which direction they were headed, I could not tell. But they are near, old friend. And so, Nakjummer kind of looks left and right, looks kind of back at you guys, and, and says, perhaps we should go discuss this in the Great Hall. And you, so you all leave and you get there. You sit down. He relays the information he's heard. Um, there, you, there you have it. What do you do? What do you say? Do you want to say anything? Isaac, you know you've got about enough fuel to do full steam for three days. I will mention that much. Okay. How far away? Yeah. They were a half day's sail for one of the homes. Um. So Kasra R obviously doesn't know the speed of your 
of uh, USS Walker. So a half day sail for one of the homes is maybe two to three hours for Walker. How far, last time we got the update on the Grick, how far were they? Um, they were roughly in the same area. Oh. That was days ago. That was almost a week ago. Because, yeah, you, you heard it from one of the, the fishing boats that was coming in that they had thought they had seen sails on the horizon too small to be that of one of the homes in that same general direction. How many did he say they saw? A singular ship. Have the Grick been known to scout? Are you are you asking that to like Doctor Murray? The first question was if uh, Kubo voiced his, I would voice mine. Okay. So, Kiji would uh, would say the Grick do not tend to do such things. No, they find their prey and they attack their prey they are not known for finding and leaving only to return what's such a small ship doing out there on its lonesome it is not uncommon for the Grick to have just a single ship Kaji, Kaji would be saying this. The six that you saved us from when we first met that fateful day is most uncommon. No one has ever seen that before. So therefore, they might be applying different tactics. It's almost different. Sales. Possibility. It could be, although with the last report of the potential Greek sighting, and now this, the same proximate area, I am I'm upset. I cannot and will not stand to have these vile creatures so close to my people, so close to our home. And he turns to look at you, the Americans, and Captain Reddy, says, is this something your magnificent ship with its great fires that propel it could you assist us? We have done much for you. How long ago was the ship spotted? This morning. To like, as they were coming into the bay. Uh, so. So they won't be able to get too far. Yeah, basically, like, you guys are, if you're on roll 20... You guys are here on, you know, bulk pan, bulk pan. And so for them, the ship was probably seen, you know, they said along the coastline. So it's probably right down around in here somewhere. Okay. After you look over and say, Isaac. You yep. think we could make it there and back today? Uh, that's a yes, right, Dustin? 
with the fuel we have and everything, you know, we'd have burned full steam for three days. So we should be able to make it damn bad in a timely fashion. Perhaps it's time for us to pay our debts to our friends. They have been awfully gracious to us. I say... And he, he turns to Kaji then, as he says this, that we make a joint offensive if you would lend us some warriors to be board walker. Not only will we go take care of this Greek threat and run them down, but we will do everything in our power to gather what information we can, meaning we will have to board the ship rather than just sinking it, which is why we would need you. Some assistance from your warriors. And from how you've described them, I'm not expecting to find much, in all honesty, but... At this point, we are fighting an enemy of which we know very little about. And if they have anything, anything at all, perhaps it might just be worth it. We will undoubtedly lose a number of people in such an offensive. But if you were to be willing, that we would be willing as well. And I need to make a fucking persuasion roll against myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love those? Yeah. Talking yourself in three different ways. So that's a 19 persuasion from Captain Reddy. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah. And then... What is, what is the counter to persuasion? Uh, that, that doesn't, oh, it doesn't some... fucking matter. That that doesn't fucking matter. That if it's insight, that's that's a nine for Kiji. So he agrees. He turns to Captain Reddy and says, "Let us make it happen, my friend. We should leave now before they venture any closer. I will go get volunteers, if you will ready." Walker for the chase. <laughs> so Noctomer dismisses all of you. Um you notice Kasra R stays behind with his guards. Um you guys and Captain Reddy retreat back to Walker. Kiji heads towards Salisa. You guys go to your stations and uh Kubo and Wolfhart, you would notice about a half hour later um, a contingent of a dozen Lemurian soldiers from uh, Salisa Hone come aboard the deck. And one of them is Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alright. So oh, shit. Oh shit. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Uh. Alright. So everyone boards. They uh kind of just are hanging out there a little bit on the boat, just kind of admiring the size of some of these things. Um, a couple come up to you, Wolfheart, and start, you know, 
chatting with you in Lemurian, kind of just pointing at things and asking what they are? I will explain them to you. Ex explain uh, things okay. to the best of my ability. Okay. And then... After uh, after about ten more minutes, Isaac, you get the call down to the engineering spaces to fire off all the boilers and start making steam, so you can start getting on the move. Chuck Ch is on the boat with us, right? Yes, Jack is now up top. After after I do that, then I can we go to chat. Yeah. Yeah, but, after you, you you can you can pass off command and go talk to Jack I, I, if you that's wish. Gonna have to have that conversation with Chat, seeing how I'm the one who helped make yeah. him okay with sound. So, oh, damn it, Kuba, would you would you go to your station or would you just kind of hang out on the deck? I. See, Captain Reddy doesn't know my little predicament. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. Um. Hmm. Hmm. You, you, you do have the same option as the senior person. Well, not technically senior, because she's a lieutenant. And you're uh, Lieutenant JG. But but this is my ship. You. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, you do. I have um, the office. You do have the office of, as the, the head surgeon of the ship, so if you wanted to, you, you could pass off command as well. Alright. And that is an option. Oh, oh god. So if you wanted to pass off command, you could pass it off to Sandra Tucker, who at this point would be down in the board. Yeah, I'd probably do that and stay up top. Okay. Alright, so um, I'm assuming you would head over by Wolfhart then. Yeah. Alright, and then Jack Jack eventually makes his way over to you and he he kinda is glaring a little bit at Silva and just shaking his head. <laughs> Silva at least being friendly. Um Silva is not really paying him any attention. Oh we're Silva is very much you can tell into the battle lust, if you will. <laughs> um, he's got his bar, and he's got it, you know, kind of stripped down, and he's making sure everything is cleaned as you guys are on your, your two to three hour journey here to, to run down this ship. Um, so he's just kind of doing that off to the side of the the deck gun, which you are both stationed on, Wolfhart. So he's nearby, you two, he, all of you then. And then a couple minutes later, Isaac would come up. And they're all gathered together. Silva's off to the side, cleaning his gun. Um, and then Captain Reddy comes walking down. And, uh, comes up to the group and says, well, looks like we're going to have some action, boys. If we're going to have action, and he kind of pulls the, the gun he had slung over his shoulder down and hands it to you, Wolf Harry, like, and I suppose I should be giving you this. Oh. And he hands you the BFG. <laughs> Good luck, boys. And he, and he turns and uh, turns and walks back towards the bridge. Thank you, sir. So I, unless anyone has any qualms, um, I'm gonna pull that one scroll out that we got. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 go for it. Do it, do it. Go for it. Put it on the big BFG. Uh. <laughs> First action, I'm just like. <laughs> so so yeah you you grab this thing in your hand and you, you've seen how you you watched how to use it a couple times 
Um, so you you kind of understand how it works. You're, and you're talking to one of anti-reloading, right? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, so yes, you you kind of grab that, um, and then you lay it out. You almost you sit down. You lay it on out in front of you, kind of like Silva's got his bar. So you, maybe you sit down opposite him, and you pull out the scroll, and you kind of touch it to the gun, and nothing happens. Does anyone know how magic works? <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty sure you have to read it. Also, as I say that, I'm going to, like, look at Kubo. I'm going to be like, Kubo? Yeah. Chat doesn't know. No one told him anything. Uh, I'm going to open the scroll and try <laughs> and read it then. Okay, so that, then you, you unroll the scroll, and you you look at the first couple words again, and you're like, oh, because they're the first couple words or instructions and yes it says you know read while you know attuned basically attuning yourself and the scroll and the weapon all in one and so you sit there and you start reading through the scroll um meanwhile in the background uh isaac looks over at kumo he's like points at jack he's just like he doesn't know. Once told him. And uh, at this point, you're starting to, to gain some speed. You've left the mouth of the bay, and Chap wanders a little bit over, away from the gun, towards the railing, and just, like, grabs the railing and sticks his head over the side. He's just watching and looking down at the water and watching how fast you guys are moving compared to how he is normally used to going on the sea in the great homes of the people. So, uh, do we want to take him somewhere where we can tell him what's happened and what we're going into combat so we'll have plenty of time to vent it out? Hopefully. Oh God, what exactly are you referencing, Josh? Hound! Just, just town being dead. Okay. Uh, well. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I thought. I didn't know. Kubo, at this point, actually, you know what? Uh, what's what's your passive perception, Isaac and Wolfhart? Uh, I have to pull up the character sheet now. Hold on. That's uh, eleven. Eleven. Um, I want to say fifteen, but okay. give me a second to maybe possibly change my answer. Out faster. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, so Wolfhart, it dawns on you after you finish reading your scroll that you're like, wait a minute. We're going into battle, and Kubo's not wearing his armor. You've never seen him go anywhere without his armor. Doctor, are and you he, feeling alright? He hasn't been right? wearing it all day. Is he? Is he like nearby? Well, it it probably takes you a half hour or so to do it. So. Josh and Kub, or I guess Isaac and Kubo, are you doing something with Chap right away? Well, uh, like, should we pull Wolfhart's... him off the deck to have the conversation? Well, if it's gonna affect him in combat, then I'd say not yet. Oh, if he doesn't, he notices that Hound is gone. He just watched ready to have Hound's gone to Wolfheart. <laughs> the gun that he had found shoot a dragon with mm -hmm. well. a situation that is probably burned into his mind seeing how we all almost died <laughs> if it's gonna affect the way he fights the griff then I think we should hold off for a second 
oh, would it be worse if he found out mid-battle that none of us took the time to tell him? <laughs> Which would be worse indeed. I guess if you feel like we should tell him, then we can go tell him. I, th I think you should at least know. After all, Hound did open up to him, and he did not immediately try to kill Hound. That's fair. They did have a little thing. Then I walked up to chat. Then I'm like, nah. Chet, would you like to come down and uh, see the engines? The engine? What uh? What makes it go so fast? His eyes light up a little bit, and he says, "Yes, yes." It's gonna be really hot down there. Just be warned. He he just kind of looks down at, at at himself, and he's only wearing a kilt. Ah. Uh. Mostly talking about fur and salates. But, come on, let's go. I just love the fact that you, <laughs> like, you, you give him something that he's like so excited for, and it's not to show him it, it's to tell him really <laughs> depressing fucking shit. I'll, so he's I'll like, go yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, this will be so nice. <laughs> Your dog is dead, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, your dog shot himself in the corner. <laughs> Come on, Timmy, we're gonna go to Disney World. Gets to the parking lot. You have yeah, cancer. Yeah, your dog, your dog got ran over by a car. Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> I'm actually going to, go to Disney, Disney World. I'm gonna show him the uh... engine before I rip the bandaid off. Yeah, that's exactly. You drive to Disney World, get to the parking lot, tell him. This trip is because you ran over his dog. <laughs> At least tell him after the park. <laughs> That's why I'm showing him the engines first. I'm going to be like, look, yeah, these um... are really cool. Your dad's dead. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, you, you do your thing. So, um, you, you walk down, you show him the engines. He's just... He's very amused. He seems like he's really enjoying it. And this is my office, Chet. Well, I... What? Why don't you pull up a chair? How's it going, Cole? Hey, Welcome. Cole. Hello there. Hello. And, uh... So, I guess, before we go right into this, <laughs> um, Cole, do you need to know what you have missed? Uh... Or have you caught up? Caught up with what? No one has told me anything. Okay. Oh, he was so... asking if you had been watching back on the episodes. Yeah. I definitely should have been, but I got out of work and went straight okay. to deal with my family stuff. So okay. no, a lot no, that's has fair. happened. That's fair. Okay. A lot has happened. A lot, is, a lot has happened, and honestly, you know what? I just want to see an. I just want to see an organic reaction to this. Um, Isaac, please continue with what you were talking with Shaq about. <laughs> Are we not going to talk about the fact that we killed a dragon while he was gone? Oh, I was, was going to get to that after. But, uh, okay. Chad, would you like to pull up uh, the chair? Am I supposed to turn on my camera for this? You can, you don't have to. Yeah, I'd prefer yeah, not, not to. Go. I, 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 I'm I, disheveled, man. I look like shit. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, I'll uh, pull out a chair for him and offer him a seat. He'll, uh... It, He'll kind of like take his tail. It's it's one of those seats that's kind of got the gap between the back and this actual seat part. He takes his tail and sticks it through the gap and then sits down. I'll offer him some coffee and just sit in front of him like he, he kind of just picks it up and he sniffs it. This this is not a easy mm. thing for me to say. Mostly because when it happened, I kind of did not handle it well. I'm still coping. Honestly, this battle might function as therapy. He looks very confused about some of the words you just used. Uh, Hound is no longer with us. 
Oh. And he kind of looks around. He's like, oh, I, I, yes. Uh, where is he? Yes. I, I feel like I acted. Sorry, I gotta sneeze. No, don't do maybe, it. Or, don't maybe, or maybe not. Don't sneeze, because if you sneeze, I'll sneeze. All right, I think I'm good. He's like, hey, uh, you've had some time to think about what he shared down in the in the cave. I would like to talk to him. Where is he? He kind of looks around. Uh, there was an incident. We sent hound, uh, as your people would say, to his ancestors. He looks confused. He's like, but he was, he was dead, but not dead. Jack, I am not the best liar, so I will give you the honest answer. Hound put his own life. Only a select few people know this. You, you are saying he was dead, and, and, and then not dead, and he's now dead. Yes. Again. He, he's not coming back this time. Oh. And you can see that his entire expression and body language just sinks. And he's like, I had hoped to get a better understanding. Oh. My people don't know much about. And he just kind of trails off and looks down at the floor. I'll, uh, I'll reach down and pull the knife from my desk that Hound left me. And I'll set it in front of Jack. It was his. He left it for me with his hat. But I imagine he'll have no issues if you were holding on to it. Uh, and he he takes it and the the little kind of not quite belt but it, it is it is a strip of leather that is very similar to a belt um he kind of takes it and just tucks the the knife into it he says thank thank you you offered him and more deception. I am sorry. Thank you, Jack. You offered him more acceptance than he thought he could ever get. Thank you for that. And I felt it was only right that we'd let you know. And he kind of just nods, and you can see um, his eyes are starting to, to shine a little bit as as a couple of tears are forming. It doesn't get any easier, Chuck. Many of our people died when... The Grick saved, or the Grick attacked us, and you saved us. I am not unfamiliar with the concept, but it is unfortunate. And he 
he sniffs a little bit. And then just kind of looks back at you and then does nothing. You got anything else for him, Isaac? No. You're a monster. Okay. We All right. sent him to our ancestors. That's what you You're said. A, his ancestors. You're Maybe. a monster, Dustin. It sounded like you were, you were putting <laughs> down. Like a monster. I had <laughs> questions they, to ask him. Fuck you. To send them to their ancestors. Also, the uh, that's why. Uh, that's why the ancestors look over them. Well, uh, I, know, I know, but you said we sent him to his ancestors. I think he was intentionally referring to the fact that he got he was cremated, not the yeah, fact yeah. that the, he was. The way that they <laughs> that's how they explained it to us, they cremate yes. the dead to send them to the ancestors. Okay. Yes. I was it using his like terminology we... of his religion it... to try to convince him that it's okay. Out of context, it makes it sound like that we brought him out back. I realize, but... Uh, I'm the old wood seller. If you could keep the details to yourself, that, that would be appreciated. He just kind of nods. And do try to dead along with Silva. One of his last requests he made was for Silva to dead along with you. At that, you can see the the kind of well, there's tears in his eyes. He narrows his eyes a little bit, lets out a little bit of a breath. Says, "Fine." Remember. Most of this pain can be worked out by swinging your ass at whatever's on the ship we're boarding. And at that, a small smile creeps back into his corners of his mouth as he says, Yes, the Rick never before have our people boarded one of their ships. It has always been the other way. I will be one of the first of our people to kill a Grick on their own ship. It is an honor. And I will be glad to be fighting alongside you once again. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. So, with that done, a uh, quick recap for you, Go. Yes, um, the party fought and killed a dragon. They, uh, they followed those Grick that you guys had let go that had attacked you, the Aboriginal Grick, back to that area. They went back to that area now and found a cave. They went into the cave killed a dozen or so of these aboriginal Grick, found a small stone altar slash slab with a uh, dead Lemurian on it, a pile of bones off in one corner, and then around the next bend found a dragon who Josh proceeded to insult by repeatedly calling him and his Grick servants rats. And so he tried to kill you. Or kill the party. Shouldn't and he almost lot. he almost succeeded. He had was it Kubo? 
Isaac and Wolfhard down. And Wolfhard all knocked. And then how? Chet and Isaac were fucking hugging and it Chet, out. No, Chet, Jack and Silva were in a brawl of their own, be, and Silva was basically grappling Jack to stop Jack from attacking the party because the dragon had charmed Jack. Oh, yeah. Did we mention the fact that he fucking threw a purple dragon at us? Not just any regular <laughs> dragon. <laughs> And then Howd finished it off with a final shot from his BFG, <laughs> narrowly allowing him enough time to do medicine checks and stabilize the party. You see, you know it's desperate when you have no other choice but to use a medicine checks. <laughs> <laughs> There's no healers in this group, except for the man who's no longer a fucking healer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lee. Then, so on the way back, um, or I guess during that fight, not even so much on the way back. Um, <clears throat> sorry. And then uh, afterwards, because the uh, the ma- the breath weapon of the purple dragon is psychic damage. So after the psychic assault, it stirred some deep repressed memories in Kubo's mind and Kubo ended up remembering that he was the doctor that had kept Hound alive in Hound's former life before he became Hound when he was a soldier known as what was it Twinklefoot? Twinklefoot yes. Twinklefoot um, back in World War One, and he then discussed this with Hound. Hound almost killed him in the crow's nest and then ended up walking away. Kubo retreated to the farm that you guys had been at that one night. And then the next morning, Kubo went to go talk to Hound. And Hound uh, took Kubo's gun and shot himself. So Hound is dead. Um, he was cremated. And the party got went got drunk off their ass. I out, I said a new world weapon. So most alcohol and consumed. Then at the the very beginning of this session was the the end of the the night. Um, after Hound was after the night of drinking, and. Kubo came back after wearing his armor, and his armor had been getting heavier and heavier and heavier all day. And he sheds all his armor, lays down, looks at a photo, and swears he'll make it back to your world that you come from. And then he was visited by Titania, the queen one of the queens of the summer court of the Fae, who gave Kubo power as the summer knight in exchange for, you know, basically a promise that when she calls, Kubo will answer. And then a new... I miss a lot. Yeah, a new yeah. home of the people showed up in, in the city of Balkpan where you're at um, just this morning. Claimed a sighting of a Grix ship um, just a, a couple hours sail for you guys down the coastline. And so after having a brief discussion with the high chief of the new the new uh, home that just came in, Kaji, the high chief of Salisa home, and then Nakjamur, the high chief of the city of Balkpen, you got a number of volunteers from Salisa home that have boarded about a dozen. They've boarded Walker, and Walker is currently steaming up the coastline with the, the very small, roughly three days worth of fuel that they that Walker has remaining. 
to try to catch this Grick ship and kill the Grick, board the ship, and gather any information they can on this enemy that they have found themselves in a war with. And so that's where we're at. You guys couldn't wait for me. You had to start a war. Uh, yeah, also, you have a surprise promotion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, he has, he has my silencer. Yeah, you have his oh, silencer. Yes, yes you, you, Hound, in his will, left you his silencer. So you have Allow, that. Allows you to be a little more sneaky with your attacks. Yep, so you now have that. And, yes, you are now the... Um, commanding officer of the communications division. Okay. Congratulations, Thank you, for you got reminding a promotion. Me. Thank you for reminding me, because that's kind of a big thing to forget. <laughs> the surprise promotion? Mm-hmm. Surprise! You got a promotion. Your last boss is dead. And with any luck, you'll be joining him. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to combat time. Yeah, well, do you guys have anything else you want to do as you're steaming down towards the ship here? Um, well, if I see the good, the good doctor uh, come up to deck... Hugo is on the deck. Um, he he was there. So yes, as you as you finish your um, application of your scroll to your BFG, which you have inherited from Hound, yeah. Kubo is kind of sit, sitting there, and you look at him and you notice. He's not wearing his armor, and you have never seen him out and about without it. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the Gubo and be like, um, I know you're not usually a man for casual wear, so what's the occasion? Oh. I guess... Uh, something's changed. just seems a bit heavier than normal. Odd, you've been wearing it for how long and never had a problem? change and I guess this change happened fast alrighty then just making a mental note in the back of my head So, does anybody have anything else? I will just be going back up to the top deck with Chet whenever he's ready to move. Okay. So, eventually you, you come back up, you see Silva's reassembling his gun. Um, Wolfheart and Kubo are kind of in the middle of, or it seems like they're just finishing up a conversation. And you notice Adam coming down from the crow's nest. You feel like you haven't seen him in a couple of days. 
<laughs> hmm. I wonder um, why. <laughs> in a minute. You missed a lot. Uh, uh, did you see anything up there? Are they in sight yet? Nope. Haven't seen anything. It's been slow as all hell. And I'm trying to get used to the new role. Can't say I'm a huge fan of being in charge. Sometimes those best for leadership are the ones where leadership is thrust upon. Yeah, well, I like being in the middle of fights, not standing on the sidelines. And Tubo died, uh, I'm not there yet. Never mind. I know my input. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you're coming up from the deck with Jack at this point. You're, you're kind of all converging. Uh, Tubo, Tubo died, uh, leadership thrust upon him, and he seemed to be handling it well. <laughs> yeah but that doesn't mean it'll work well for me especially given the circumstances some men are born great I'll Others. pull out I'll pull out the silencer and screw it onto my gun and then throw my gun back over my back. Okay. Read it well. I guess you'd also notice that I also don't have either of my guns or my knife attached to me either. Mm, yeah, you would. You... What's your passive perception, Adam? Do you know? It's like very high. I need to. Okay. I, I Hold on, I need to open like, the files. I think it was like a 19 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it yeah, was like... Was something oh. ridiculous. So yeah, Wolfhart and Adam, you have both noticed that... Yeah, he's not carrying his guns or weapons of any kind. Or wearing his armor. So, have you decided that you're traveling lighter? Oh, yeah, or is this though, just a he? temporary thing? That's that's a way to put it. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do once the fighting starts? Well, I'm hoping something will come to me. Need to test <laughs> my improvisation. Uh... <clears throat> you're not, you're not following in uh, hounds of footsteps over there, are you? No. What if something dumped you in the middle of a battlefield? Does not seem like a good idea, Tubo. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Standing there in the middle of the battlefield with no armor, no weapons. I'll think no of plan. something. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that Activate. scare you to death? <laughs> Activate Plan B. Super Saiyan. Activate plan. Destroy all humans. <laughs> no, that's plan C. <laughs> Get it right. Oh, sorry. My bad. Got the order mixed up. Step two <laughs> of the 36 step plan. Also, Co, you're solution. the only human left on the boat. Yeah. Aside from, you know, oh, well, unnamed of, crew members. Of the party, there, there are other unnamed crew members that are full human. Captain yeah, but at least actually... majority of the crew will survive. <laughs> hey, Captain Red is a human. See, the human or elf, you said. What, yeah. did everyone else die while I wasn't paying attention? Yeah, Cap Captain Red is a human. Yes. I think Bradford's something, I don't know. I don't remember. Did I make He's Bradford something. Too? Was I that lazy? Yeah, it was. Bradford's a human, too. I should I should have made Bradford a gnome. Bradford would have been a good gnome. Oh my you god! You said Bradford's an elf. Did I? Yeah. Yes. Maybe, maybe, no. Okay. 
Maybe I wrote You it made down Bradford an elf because okay. he was able to speak Sylvan. That's right. Yeah. He also, you know. I, I did I just didn't change the race on the sheet then. Which it would make perfect sense because he's a ranger, so why not be the typical elven ranger? Yeah. And you said that, oh yeah, because I'm older than you. Then I'm like, are you though? Are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then no. he went, I should uh, stop calling you my boy, and stop. <laughs> dear boy, to me. Once I found out how old I was, it was like, okay. that's right. Perhaps I should stop calling you dear boy then. <laughs> but anyway, all right. So does anybody else have anything that they are in dire want of doing? No, I'm good. We're going to turn the ship around and conquer the planet. I'm going to clean my gun uh, and do my standard thing. Okay. Uh, struggle. Struggle. <laughs> okay. So, you, uh, another hour or so goes by, so you've been on shore for about two hours, and uh, the lookout that relieved Adam um, calls out from uh, the lookout's nest, I can see it! Sails! Up ahead in the distance! And so, you all kind of move towards the front of the ship, and, and sure enough, you can see, cresting the, the horizon, is a white sail on top of a red ship. You can't make out any details other than white and red right now, but you do see one big old white sail, and a big red hull. Ah. Looks like it's time to get ready for battle. And then as this is happening, the general quarter alarm starts going off. Oh, oh what's this that you Americans say? Time to face the music. <laughs> yeah. That's a way of putting it. So Isaac, you've passed off command. Yeah. Kuma, you've passed off command. Adam, are you going to go to the crew's nest? Or, so the plan is to board the ship. Do you want to go to the crow's nest, or do you want to board the ship with the rest of the party? I'm going to go to the crow's nest and set up a sniper rifle position. Okay. So you, you climb up there and get ready. Silva slams a magazine into his bar and wraps the slide back. He's like, let's go. And then throws it over his back, and walks over to the 50 cal on the amidships deck house, and grabs it. And then I'm assuming the rest of you are just kind of standing and waiting for the action to come. How's Chet holding up? Um, you, you see Chak is kind of um, moved a little closer to you. He had been talking to some of the other Lemurian volunteers. Um, and they they seem to be loaded down with mostly 50-50 um, being some have crossbows, or not crossbows. No, it is crossbows. Some have a, a few crossbows. The others have um, check Accents like Jack. Yeah, but Chet seems to be holding up okay emotionally, right? As far as you can tell. That's good. That's good. He's uh he's he's kind of been anticipating the this battle. Um I'm hoping that night saves his life. As a as a couple more minutes go by, um you can tell you're you're gaining ground on this ship. Um, quickly, you, you estimate that you're going probably twice as fast as this thing is. As it has seemingly spotted you and has started to turn just away from you. Cowards. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Cowards. I thrive in the um, so we'll just call it a few more minutes go by 
and you'll have to forgive me because I was lazy and I didn't want to make two ships. Is everyone in Tailspire? I am. Yep, I am. I'm in Tailspire, but I'm not in your world. All right. Go ahead and join, and I will summon everybody to the board. How is already here? Should we uh, go ahead and roll initiative while we're waiting? <laughs> um, let's wait till everyone's in, just so I, I I gotta set a couple things up and get you guys. Mine just says waiting on GM. Yep. Yeah, let it pull one of the other one. Yeah, we we just gotta get Jacob to be in. You're in. Yep. By the way. Uh, Dustin, I don't know if you noticed it, but there I do have a linked uh, minion there now. Oh, no. No, I did not notice that. Um, I, figured, I figured I'd mention that before we kick things off. Holy jumping fucking chip balls. Okay. Hey! <laughs> wow. Okay. I gotta, I gotta change shit real quick because... Austin just sent me his fucking character. <laughs> it hasn't been just, but oh, yeah. So that's how you did it. Well, okay. just let me know. That's pretty smart. I'm going to have to use what, that. What, what did I do? I was trying to see how you made the hall, but you used roof pieces and just changed the direction. Yeah, I did see that after looking at it. That's pretty smart. Thanks. Yeah, I, I was. it took me a little bit to come up with that, but... Knowing that you earned that. your piece of paper. I'm an engineer. What if we put okay. the roof upside down to make the boat? But, uh, so we'll, we'll say, and then after a little bit of time. Why are there skeletons in the bottom floor? <laughs> you see, that's the real enemy. Because <laughs> I couldn't hide them yet, damn it. I can't hide. Got skeletons entities. In the I can only hide. I can only hide characters. Oh, right. Can. I can only hide entities. Not. Can you? Can you hide decorations? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'll show you how to do it after. After. Yeah. Oh, oh did I spoil things? Whatever. Not really. So we need the enemies underneath and us and also Adam above us. Character a chat. Character, oh. an Isaac character, a Kuo character, a Silva That's character, oh. a Wolfhard character. You guys are just swimming in the ocean. Casually. Um, casually swim in the ocean. Oh no, sure, so, sure. Oh, okay. so don't get out of you're like up here. Holy I'm gonna enable flying on the rest of you so you can kind of be up. I just, I, I'm gonna be honest. I just did not feel like making two ships. I got lazy. Copy paste. No, because I would have had to make Walker at Walker's metal. Oh, that's right. Theater of the mind, Dustin. Ever heard of it? Huh? Yeah, so so you guys can just imagine you're on a, a big ship that's big metal ship, bigger than the one you're now looking across and seeing a large number of Grick all armed with crossbows. And at this point, I do need everybody to roll initiative. There it is. <laughs> I'll wait for everyone else so that when mine doesn't get confused. Who was going first? Wolfhard's going, going last. last. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. Hey, that's not that good. Put it to a death, Co. Thirteen. <laughs> All right, so well, Chad has got a fucking four. Oh my god, I'm not going last. Silva got a... What did Silva get? Silva got a... 12. Isaac, what did you get? 
14. You had a 14. And Adam, what did you have? I had a 13. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Uh, that's right. It counts for me. Okay, so we got Kuba, you had 20? 20. 23. 23? Okay, so this one Can I not Why can't I add you to the turn order, you fucking bastard? Jacob, I'm clicking on the thing and it won't add it to the turn order. Sorry, what? what? Never mind, I got it. I got it. My bad. Did I say they're crossbows? Yes. They're spears. Okay. So, you know, same shit, different day. Isaac, what did you have again? I had a... Hold on, I have to look at my... 14. You had a 14? Okay. Yeah. So... Holy shit, that's a lot of grit. These two are before you. Spears and crossbows. There's your mix. Um, and that's a 15 on this guy. So he's also before you. And Adam, you had a 13 and Silva had a 12. Yep. Okay. got a let's see and then this guy Yeah, there's a lot of these fuckers. Oh my god. There's so many. <laughs> Why did I make so many? Alright, and you... Wolfhart, you had a... Six. Okay. Hey, by the way. Yeah. Um, the magic scroll, does that make it plus one as well, or is it just reload? Just reload. Okay. I I don't hate myself that much. I'm not giving you that much power. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. We are good. I'm going to clear all the dice. Okay. Seeing all of these Grick on the ship. <laughs> um, I just close my eyes and I say, protect me. As I cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. And that is my action. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Let's, uh... Let's set things so they don't disappear on me, like the top of the thing with all the free crick on it. All right. So this guy... 
comes up to the side of the boat and he is going to lob a spear across. Which is a 18. As one of the Lemurians beside you takes a spear straight to the chest and falls over screaming in pain. And this one is going to come up here. It sees Adam hanging out in the crow's nest and is going to shoot off crossbow bolt at him. That is an 18 to hit. Does that hit? It does. All right. How much that damage? That is eight, eight damage. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. This one steps forward, and he is shooting at one of the Lemurians down by the gun mounts, and he rolls in at one. The first one of the night, which is probably going to be a lot more, because I'm the fucking DM. Uh, with 17, nothing happens. This guy comes forward. He lobs a spear across as the spear strikes the side of Walker and falls into the ocean. Isaac, you're up. All right. We're not close enough. I have to jump over, are we? <laughs> um, probably not. No, it's 60 feet away. I, yeah, I don't think you can long jump 60 feet, my guy. Well, I just need to touch the bottom of the ship with my feet, and then I'm set. I just I walk don't, up. And... I don't think you can do that. No. So, how is ship movement working? Um, basically, they are going full speed, and you guys, the, the bridge has commanded and is coordinating with the engineering team, with whoever you've let if in charge, to keep on a steady course with them. When will, will our boat be close enough for me to jump over by the end of the round? Maybe. Okay, then it's hard, it's hard to tell. The At the speed band, you're going, probably not. Probably not. Then I'm going to hold my action in case we do get close enough. Okay. Better to jump over. Because I didn't really okay. attach anything at this range. So that'll be my plan. So this guy moves up. And then he fires. It is 16. He strikes one of the guys on one of the gun crews up towards the front. Dealing minor wound as the bolt goes by, grazing his leg. Adam, you are up. All right. Let's take a snipe at him. <laughs> which, one are, which one are you shooting at? <laughs> Let's aim for... The one closest to me. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Ta -da. That is a hit. All right. Unless you have a minus one to hit, that is a hit. <laughs> no, I think I have a plus to hit. Yeah, so... You're... So I roll a d8. Yeah. Or is it two d8s? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what kind of gun you have. It should you should have, I have a sniper rifle. 
And you should have your damage written down somewhere. How Hound, what it what or uh, Austin, what was your what was Howland's first gun's damage? Was it two D six or two D six. Okay. So yours is two D six. The two D eight is the BFG. Okay. So yeah, Adam, yours is two D six. Fourteen. All right. All right. Fourteen damage. And I assume since I'm sitting in the crow's nest, I can't really move. Um, it would take you an entire turn, including your action, to go down the ladder. Yes. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay. Anyways. All right. So Silva, standing on the edge of the boat here with one of the midships 50 cals just kind of sweeps a machine spray across the front section of the boat yeah which i need to here's the thing there we are So it hits all of them. It hits these six potentially. Ooh, that's a all good roll. Right. Okay. God damn. So And nice. Let's... Nice. Total sixty nine. God damn it. <laughs> Why'd he have to notice that? Oh my god. <laughs> so, everyone except this guy is going to get hit. And they're all going to get hit with the same amount of damage because I am not rolling individually for these. Yep. Uh, do they fall over? One because them, it's a 50 cal. One of them gets that crit. Yeah, so one of them is going to take an additional... So, and then what is your plus Silva, you fucking bastard? And with your proficiency, okay, yeah, not like it fucking matters. I mean, it's a 50 cal. Shouldn't it, like, knock them over if it hits them? Um, oh. it just fucking kills five of them. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Like, it just straight up killed five of them. What? Keep in mind, this is a big-ass yes. deck-mounted 50 caliber machine gun. You are not yeah. carrying this by hand. Don't ask. I understand. He do be Goliath. He do be strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what you're saying is, if we get all of us to pick this thing up, <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a chance. With no. the power of and magic. <laughs> seeing what Silva just fucking did. Let's see. What is... Well, I will it's think. about... About 68 feet? 70 feet? Um, and what is the range on a crossbow? I don't actually remember. It is 3120. So he's going to shoot off his crossbow at disadvantage at Silva. Missing. The next guy is going to come up and he is going to heave a spear across oh that might be close why the fuck does silva only have 14 ac because i didn't add in the breastplate that's why so a breastplate is what 16 or um. no 14 pace. Oh, is he not a barbarian? No, Silva's a champion fighter. Oh. 
Shaq is the barbarian. I didn't do this. Rest in is nice 14. So it's 14, and can Plus you add? Two decks. Minimum Plus two decks. Plus so. two decks. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm like, I didn't have this set right. I'm like, I looked at his armor class. I'm like, there's no way it's a 14. We can scrap 16. the 50 pals to dinosaurs. No. <laughs> well, you see, Silva could not lift up one of those, uh, our big drill bit, but like four of so, us could. At 15, that's a miss. But four of us included Silva. Making it Wolfhart's turn. Yeah. Ooh. All right. But if Silva could easily pick up the gun. He's not picking up the gun. The gun is literally mounted we on know. the stand. Yeah. If we unscrew the bolt. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a Halo situation where you can just free, rip mm -mm. it off. Okay. No. No, this is no, a this, gun this, that's like freaking this put is on the ship. mounted there. You are not getting this off without <laughs> taking a bunch of bolts out and it's heavy as fuck. Not to mention that it's on a swivel, so there's a bunch of machinery to move it. Mm -hmm. Left and right gives it, like, its movement and power. Yeah. Yeah, Try, trying to disassemble that would be a task in and of itself. Trying to then mount that on top of something that is much smaller and less stable than this ship would be an absolute nightmare. Could you do let's it eventually? Put it on... Maybe, but... Let's put it, it on the lifeboat. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely take you a while to achieve any use. I think if we put it on the lifeboat, the lifeboat just sinks anyways. <laughs> I'm not sure it's quite that big. It's Maybe made of pure metal. Lifeboats are made of like much... wood and rubber. <laughs> it depends on how much ammo you load into it. Well, what's Wolfhard doing? Me. So, I think... I am gonna... I'm going to bonus action, because I'm going to use this spell at least f fucking once. Um, Hail of Thorns. Okay. I'm going to whip out the big... F no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Thompson, because I can't get more than uh, one sh fucking shot off with the fucking Thompson. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming that's a hit. Um. Yeah, unless you have a zero to hit, which you shouldn't, because you're proficient. All right. So I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay. Was he already shot before? Uh. Yes, that one is shot before. Okay. So that's. Three plus the D eight. Jacob, uh, I'll tell you, he's got three health left. Oh, <laughs> I I absolutely fucking wreck his face, and the guy next to him has to make me a dexterity saving throw. All right. Of fourteen. That is a fail. All right, he takes. 10 damage from Hail of Thorns. A D10 or just straight 10? D10. So he takes okay, 4. So he takes 4. Alright. You got and it. That is my turn. Alright. Spear Crick number 4 is going to come up and haul off and lob his spear at Silva. Just realized I'm an idiot, but I already end my turn. To never mind. Hitting him for five damage. Making it Jack's turn. 
Chak has no ranged capabilities, so he does nothing other than go to the wounded Lemurian that's now laying over. Actually, it would be further up, not further back. What am I thinking? The wounded Lemurian that's laying there groaning in pain with a spear in his chest. And he is going to try to make a medicine check to stem the bleeding from around the wound. He does not succeed. <laughs> so, next guy. He's going to fire shot. And he's going to hit this dude. How badly. So the dude that was hit before takes another 8 damage. Which one are you? You're this one. Alright, this one comes forward. And he's going to lob his spear. And you, Wolfheart. Seeing as you're standing the closest, that's not Silva. And that's going to not make it even all the way across the boat. So that one just falls short, falls into the sea. This guy comes forward and heaves his spear across. That is also a miss. And we're back to the top of the turn order with Kubo. All right. So I look over at that Lemurian that took a spear to the chest and the other one's helping. Okay. And I just look at him just for a second. But I just turn back towards the boat, staying in place. Okay. <laughs> um, I point my finger, saying, God, I hope something happens. <laughs> <laughs> and I cast Eldritch Blast. And I would like to aim it for the base of the sail. The base of the mass. Okay. I want to try to destroy it. Okay. And I get two bolts. Uh, so that lowest is a 16. Okay, that... Yeah. It's an inanimate object. Yep. You're, you're, it gets a little bit of bonus because you're both on moving vessels that are rocking a little bit with the waves, but those both hit. Okay, that is 17. <laughs> Bless you. 17 points of damage? Yep. Okay. Let me note that somewhere. Because I do not have a fucking uh, health counter for the mast. All right. All right. So, said 17. All right. So you cast Eldridge Blast at the mass, striking it twice, and you see two two rather large chunks come flying off of it, uh, but it still stands. All right. I don't think I have any bonus actions that I can use, so I'm going to make it. All right. So this guy no longer has his spear, so he does nothing. This guy is going to shoot at Adam again. Ooh. Uh... Doing Five. seven damage. Okay, that's not too bad. You, Honestly, you more, the first hit was more worse. damage from his first attack. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I I'm okay with this. Right. You know, I was I scared did. there for a second. <laughs> so I was too, a little bit. Has the ship moved forward at all, our ship? Um, we'll say, yeah. At each round, I'm going to say you each, you're all going to move a little, uh, just one closer as you're coming in here. So. So from the edge of the boat to there. You're measuring from Wolfheart, by the way. Yeah, but does it have to do 10 oh. feet and start? Well, the, the edge of the boat is Silva. 
The edge of the boat is silver. Where's silver? He's he's one in front. He's, so he's, he's right here. Other... Yeah. Uh, do I have long stride as a spell? I don't <laughs> have long stride as a spell. So, did I use Thorn Whip? It says it pulls the creature closer to me, but I use Thorn Whip to pull me closer to the ship. If I jump, like a, oh, like a, bam. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see. Create a long vine-like whip covered in thorns, slashes out at your command. Make melee spell attack. If the attack hits, it takes damage, and you can pull the creature up to ten feet closer to you. Yeah. So... I will say... Yes... But based on this, I believe the whip dissipates after your turn. I just needed to pull me the 10 feet closer I need for my 15, my 16 foot lawn jump to be stuck to the side of the ship at the end of the round. So you have a 16 foot long jump. Yep. And how far is the ship away? 35 feet from Silver. So, if you have 16 feet, that's about a half of the distance. And you could pull yourself 10 feet in, which would still leave you 5 feet short, and you would fall into the water. So I have to wait one more if, round. If, if you jump this turn, you fall into the water. I'm going to wait one more round. Okay. I said this is standing there. Biding his time. All right, crossbow Grick over here. He is gonna take another shot at the dude that's been downed and miss. Oh, Adam, you're up. <laughs> These bastards are ruthless. <laughs> All right, let's take a shot. Ah, uh, actually, does that hit? It's plus seven to hit fourteen. Plus seven? Which one are you shooting at? The one that you, I've been shooting yeah. at? That one's dead. Okay. It, it's not base now. <laughs> no, I, it's deleted out. I, I can still see it. <laughs> are you talking this one? Yeah. This one is the one that started back here. The one you were actually shooting at is dead. Okay. Well, we're going to aim at that one that's taking its place. He, Okay. Yeah, you, you can shoot that one and a 14, 14. does does hit. Yay. Ah. Oh. 12. Take 12. <laughs> it has 1 HP remaining. <laughs> Take 1. Uh extra action reload. Pass a turn. All right, Silva is going to let loose his unholy contraption once more, and unholy, can, I am now can, proud father of one John John Moses all Browning. Five of them. <laughs> it can hit all five. The let's see, Silva, what is your Proficiency with your bar is plus nine. Okay. So it hits all but the first one. For Ooh. 18 damage. Damn. Once again, that's, that's 18 plus mm -hmm. four. By the way, so that's 22 damage. 
killing those four. This one that just got shot by Adam is going to try to return the favor. Ooh. And hopefully miss. Oh my god. That's not a miss. <sighs> Doing much... five damage. Ooh. I'm actually getting kind of low. Well. <laughs> and it is now Don't Wolf Hunt's turn. Passes out in Crow's Nest. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. <laughs> yes, it would. All right, Wolfheart, you are up. All right. How far away from the ship are we at this point? Uh, the edge of the ship is 35 feet from the edge of theirs. I don't have any fucking strength, so I can't really fucking long jump. Limit. Alright. Well. We're gonna shoot. By the way, you won't know what I realized between turns? What? I have multi attack. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rip. All right, I'm gonna aim at that one first. Oh, natural one with the BFG. No, he's using no. the Browning. He's oh. using the Thompson. Okay, that's basically fifty. I need an even or odd from you, Jacob. Even. Nothing happens. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try and shoot him again. Okay. Uh, plus nine, so sixteen. That's a hit. And uh he has one HP, so he is dead. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's uh, all I can really do. So Alright. Jack is going to again try to stem the blow of blood, and this time he he uh, he does all right. He grabs a a loose piece of cloth from his one of the pouches on his belt and kind of wraps it around the blade at the entry, and uh, yeah, and then he he's going to kind of drag this Lemurian this way. And he can only go half his movement, which puts him about there. Crossbow fires at this unnamed guy, and he misses with an at one. And nothing happens. That is two. Oh my gosh. And this guy used his spear, so he's just gonna run this way, making it Kubo's turn. All right, two more shots into the mask. And this is the top of the turn order. Ah, yes. So everybody is advancing five feet as the ship gets closer. Okay, that's two hits. <laughs> yep. That is another 21 damage. 21 damage? 21. Okay. So you take out two more big chunks out of the mast, um, but it is somehow still mm. holding up. Just barely. You, you you definitely get the sense that if you hit it again, it's coming down. Awesome. He's got no spear. Crossbow Grick number one sees Wolfheart dragging a 
wounded Lemurian and tries, or not Wolfhart, Chak, dragging a wounded Lemurian, tries to take a shot at him and fails. Isaac. Josh, you're up. Yep. And I'm five feet closer, right, than we were before? You are five feet closer. Okay. Then, time for the plan we talked about. All do right. I want the cat? <laughs> do I shoot him a wink? Do I do the same to uh, Tubo? Then I'm going to yeet myself off the ship. <laughs> okay. So you get yourself with your 16 feet. You get here. Yep. I need you to make... Yes. What is, what is your spell attack bonus? Oh, pretty decent. That would be a plus seven, so a 15. Okay. So you are able to lash your whip out, grabbing one of the railings along the side of the boat and pulling yourself inwards a little bit. Um, and it as as you pull in and then you swing down just a little bit, catching your feet with your ability on the side of the boat. I would right. like to point out, now that this is, is done, Josh, yeah. if you had missed, oh, you okay. would have died. I realized. Okay. But it was an inanimate object I was aiming for. I was confident in my ability to hit the railing. If, if you had missed, you almost certainly would have died. Does the, the AC of an inanimate object is what, 10? I'm doing 12 just because the two ships are moving. So ah. That's what I'm using for the mast, so that's what I was using here as well. I think it also depends on the material itself. Awesome. But wood yeah. is pretty low. Yeah, wood is pretty uh, weak, so. Alright. Oh, yeah, I think stone has oh, something oh. like 12, but don't call oh, me. Hold that. on. Oh, that's right. You still get shit to do, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, how thick is this hole? Because that was... <laughs> how thick is the hole? Yeah, like the side of the ship. Like, do I feel um, like I'm... Oh. It's solid. I mean, without actually <gasps> doing an act, like actually looking at it, taking serious time to measure it, uh, it's hard to tell, but you would estimate that it's... I don't actually know. I have to look things up now. The AC of wood is 15. Oh. AC of wood is 15? Yeah. Iron and I was adding... <laughs> and, I, and I was adding two because of the decks. So if I wanted to be an asshole, Josh, you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> I realize that now. <laughs> I thought if I wanted to be an asshole, you're dead. Like cloth and paper is eleven. Really? We're averting that turn. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal glass and ice is thirteen. Okay. <laughs> How thick were the holes of wooden ships? Um, I mean, you you would estimate that it's probably between one and two inches thick. Awesome. I'm just use my thunder gauntlet and try to put a hole through the like the side <laughs> next to me. See if I buy a room or anything. Okay. Jesus Christ. 23. All right. That's a hit. I need to see if anyone's over there. I'm going to use the same damage calculation I've been using for the mast. Well, that's an uh, eight, a nine. Nine. That's a nine. Okay. So, with nine damage, you manage to knock a small chunk out of the wall. This is going to take too long. That is my turn. 
All right, now crossbow Grick number four gets to fire a shot. As he hits another one of the forward gun crews for three damage, grazing a bolt along his shoulder. Adam is up. Do they have anything flammable by chance? On their boat. The wooden, the wooden ship. Oh, you you might not. I don't think you were here for this. Um, they want to get onto the ship and try to recover any information they can. So you you would know that. So you would know they want to damage the control, ship. Co. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, fine. Yeah, That's I, why I they think, didn't just take were... the big boom boom guns and go sink to Davy Jones. <laughs> Yes. Send them to the locker. Well, let's take a swing. I'm assuming you're shooting at the last one up top there? Yep, 13. That is a match, so that hits. Alright. I'm going to clear some of these dice after this. 12. Alright. 12. Do we win? <laughs> All right. I was waiting for more to surge up from the bottom deck. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Silva gets to go now. This is just wave one. Eh, they're a little out of range. If this is wave one, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so Silva is just going to <laughs> use this thing on just this dude. Oh. Here. Oh, Silva, you poor Silva, baby. What, what have we said about using cannons on the infantry? At least hit the mast. <laughs> and I'm going to say, because he's... Yeah, you know what? You know what, Justin? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Hey! He, he, sees, what, he sees what you're trying to do. And he swings. So I need to roll again for the mast now to hit. Nice. And with what I've been using to hit, that works. So, yeah. All right. So, this Greek is dead. And Justin. Yes. I need you to pick a number, one through eight. Oh no! It's the cardinal direction, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Seven. The worst part is where you've Seven. been hitting it, where you've been hitting it, yep. would mean that it would fall towards us. Yep. Seven. So, just for perspective, having you pick seven means seven is the direction that points back at the ship with one number at 45 degrees going clockwise. Okay. Yes! So, with a one... This ship falls, or the, the mast falls backwards. Does it um, crush any Greek bodies? Basically, covering this opening and crushing down oh, no. on top and through this little area back here. Isn't that where all our information is? Oh no. Uh so do a little bow, good sir. Okay, now Silver Justin even or odd. Odd. But he picked it up from you, <laughs> fucker. I know. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the mast has fallen down on top of that, clearly creating some oh God. serious damage. Uh, How's the helm looking on their boat? Because that's falling directly on top of that wheel. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. But they don't have any wind power anymore. But does yes, it mean that they're, they're not, they hadn't stopped moving? Just means that no one is Momentum controlling the boat. They're coasting now. No. They would have been. They would have still been w running at the full wind. They still have to slow down from yeah. when the wind had them at. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
they're just not. And they were going full bore. Yeah, and they're not. If they had the if the if the wheel gets turned too far, the boat's gonna slam into our boat. We're made of metal. We'll be fine. Yeah, it'll stop them. It, it'll be fine. Except it'll also just dis- our boat would destroy yeah. their boat, meaning we don't get any information. It'll be yeah, fine. So so, uh, so Austin, since you you bring that up, <laughs> um, doctor, doctor, you seem to have gotten aggressive lately. One and two. The boat veers left. Three and four. The boat stays its course. Five and six. The boat veers to the right, crushing Isaac between the two boats. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No! <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so... There's a small window of opportunity for success here. Uh, what window so, of opportunity? As the um, as the mast falls, Isaac and everyone on the ship, Isaac, you feel it. Out. Everyone else sees it. The boat starts to veer heavily to the right. Isaac, you have this turn. I need you to make me a strength. Well, you're you're walking, so you, you have your ability. I need a dex save from you to haul yourself to the top of the boat before you get crushed. Do I know how? Wait, how much damage did the mass take, real quick? In total, from them, it took four Eldridge blast hits and a burst from the fifty. Yeah, there's nothing to pull it off. I don't think you're gonna have enough damage to bust through the side of the hull. I was hoping to pull it off with a shatter. Uh, we're might, gonna try that that. it. So what's the max damage on shatter? That is a, uh, the max damage on the shatter is 24. Yeah, you would not be able to break through the hole with the shatter. But you know what I can do? Succeed can... your deck save. I can, yeah, with a 19. <laughs> would yep. Thunder so Wave have pushed it 10 feet away? <laughs> yeah, so, so with your deck save, you are able to recognize what is happening and haul yourself up and over Man, right Kubo's next to this Grick. Man, Kubo's trying to be the, the cause of two player deaths. As the boat Kubo's just a murder. Is now doing one of these. One of these. Alright. Wolfheart, it is now your turn. First thing I want to see. Are we basically right next to the boat now? Um. So Silva is the edge of the boat. So you are basically ten feet from one boat to the other. I think the the front of the the front of our boat is bit is probably touching the front of their boat, and if it continues, then it it'll, it'll probably it'll get closer. Yeah. So you something like that. Why can't right, I like fuck it. clear? We're going, we're going for we're going for big fucking gun this time. Yeah, so so you're fifteen feet from gun to gun. Which one are you shooting at? Oh I'll the I'm gonna try and not shoot uh God, I think that's Adam's head off. Isaac. 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 Okay. I'm All in right. the crow's nest. Off. Don't roll in at one. So if you're shooting at yeah, the crow's nest, I'm up the set. The worst part is that there's no one really to fix that gun if it breaks. <laughs> what well, am it wasn't I? A one. Speaking, there speaking wasn't of, a one. No, but... that's part of the that's in the misfire range for that gun. That is in the misfire range for the BFG. One, one to three is misfire range. Yes. It's so... the gunslinger thing, Jacob. Because it's a custom gun. Yeah. It's more of the I can't fucking win. I've rolled nothing above like a five. Yeah. The entire fucking session. 
I know how you feel. I have had way too many like that. And he's going to take pity on you. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Because your gun still, your gun Co, still misfires. You Co, need to Co, take an mean, action to unjam it. Co, you 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 weren't here for it, but he threw a dragon at us. So that gun is basically entirely useless to me for the rest of this fight because I'm not going to bother unjamming it because that's wasted an action. If you're not going to wait, it's it, magical. Yes. How can it? It. Oh, that's magic. true. It doesn't the use magic. rounds that, anymore. That is true. It doesn't use rounds. It anymore. may not. It may not use the miss misfire score anymore because the rounds don't jam. I'll give it to you. Okay. Okay. I'll give it to I'm you. I'm like, wait, it's that magical is a good point. now. Is it is now magical. Exist? You you don't have physical ammunition in the typical sense. So yes, I will give it to you. Okay. I was like, wait a second. So you it just misses. Misses badly. Jack is hey, I still to... have another fucking action. Give me my turn back. I still have another attack. Good argument, Jacob. <laughs> you mm -hmm. saved it. I just barely saved it. Now I'm gonna Watch roll it be one. a one now. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Fuck you, Rick. That's a hit. Uh, does yep. that was that one already hit? Uh, that one has not been hit yet, though. Okay. <laughs> Eight. I want to say plus four sounds right. Sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> it has one HP left. Motherfuck. <laughs> Jack drags the wounded one back further behind. The, the mass with the crow's nest over here. Um, Lena's sitting there and then comes back out. And that's his turn. You see, he's going to come back out all the way to the, the, the edge of the bow. Crossbow Grick over here is going to lay down a shot. And he is going to miss Spear Grick. Seeing somebody jump onto his ship. Uh, He's going to try to take a bite and claw at Isaac. Well, the bite misses, the claw hits. Yeah. And does four damage. Let me reset my health to 51 real quick. And then I'll go down to... Alright. And then we are at the top of the turn order here. So, give me just a second. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I need dexterity saves from everybody. I'm in danger. Me too, God. Oh, oh, that was you. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm that fine. That was me <laughs> as Silva and Chap. Oh, no. Oh. Well, Silva's, uh, oh, God. So, Silva, with his nat 1, um, actually, so, first, Kubo, what is your symptom? Uh, 10. Okay, so you are just going to fall over. Okay. You are, you are now prone. Wolfheart, what is your dex save? Uh, I think I rolled an 8 plus 7. Okay, so you 15. are fine. You are fine. Silva is going to not just fall over, but he is actually going to get straight up launched <laughs> off the ship into this grig <laughs> and knocked per and like and be prone. Mm -hmm. 
as he takes 1d4 bludgeoning damage. Shaq has a 5, but it's not a critical failure, so Chak is prone. And Ko, you are fine. You do not fall. I've got a 27, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you are fine. Isaac, what did you get? Oh, yeah. Let me roll one real quick. And then hopefully the dreads fail too. I don't think they will. <laughs> I'm on the ground. You are thrown into you are thrown into the railing. So you are also taking one D four bludgeoning. So you take three damage. And you are prone. And then I need one, two, three, four, five. Grick saves. One of them got a nat one. This one gets launched off the boat into the ocean. I'm good thing that wasn't me. This one fails and is prone, and the other three pass. And then, if you will please excuse me for just a few moments while I go do DM things. Um, all right, and roll. Oof. So we got five, six, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Alright. So, Kubo, you're up. Okay. Uh, I stand back up. Yep. And right. um, I telepathically say Camp it, God, I hope you stay you followed me, because I might need your help here. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I Eldritch Blast this boy. Okay. Okay. Those are probably both heads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is 16 damage. It has one HP. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> Theme of the night. <laughs> it really is. Uh, God, how far away am I? Can I get onto this ship? I can get on the ship. Perfect. Using yeah. just the last of my movement. Oh, God. Okay, don't do that. How badly do you want to get on the ship? Alright, and then... I'm going to disable your flight. There you cool. go. Achoo! Sorry. Alright, is that it for you? Yep. Alright. 
All right. So this one, um, it's advantage on melee attacks against prone enemies, right? Correct. Yep. So there's the bite, Isaac, and the claw. All right. Pretty sure those both hit. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do too. You take 12 damage. Whoever knocked this fucking mask down, I'm going to kill. <laughs> oh, Why is it that every time Silva does something, I, I die I got, for it? I gotta roll something that I should have rolled before Kubo's turn. Is it Kubo is I need. The ship? I need a. I need a perception check from everybody. Oh. Yourself included, Austin. Ah oh, fuck. How does my passive 16 do out of curiosity? 12. Your passive 16 fails. Fuck. I got a 17. I got a 29. Does that work? <laughs> so, so hope. Got it. Hope you have a pray. plus 19 to. That can't be. Nah, you... No. Uh, well, what is your dirty plus 20, good sir? 19. You're plus, you're plus to perception. He is a plus nine. Oh, plus okay. nine. Oh. Okay, so you, you got a 19 then. Yeah. Yeah, dirty 20. Still uh, beating him. And Jacob, you got plus a... six. Okay, so. Austin. Yeah. Adam. And Wolf. Yes. You all smell a faint, smoky smell. I hit a what? Oh, smoky. not the stew pot! <laughs> a faint, smoky smell. The chicken! It's on fire! Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, is it time for me to go try to go get out of my restraints now, J Dustin? Ooh. If you would like to make an attempt, you can do so. Do you want me to roll initiative so we can you can throw me into the, into the chart? Sure, yeah. Might as well. So that's an 18 plus 5. So I think that puts you ahead of everyone except Kubo. Uh, I rolled a 23. Okay, so that ties you with Kubo. So what's yeah. your plus? What's your I plus? The... A, I only have a plus 3. I have a plus 5. <laughs> Correct. So technically I beat him out. Oh, Alright. So... Give me a few seconds here. I gotta lower the thing so that we can see inside the boat. All right. Did you place my Got token it. yet, by the way? Yeah. You are We're... probably hidden from your own view. Because I, I, I'm looking at every level and I don't see it. I think you're hidden from your own view. Um, is there a way to grant permission to just people? Um, I guess if I give player permission, you should be able to see it, right? Yeah, I believe so. Everyone will be able to see it, him it because he's the player. He zo okay. It zoomed me down. There we go. I can now so, see it. You're there. Um, yeah, I, I will at this point let you go back to your turn and you can try to make a strength check. To strength or death? Out of your strength. These are you okay, are shackled. They... You are shackled in iron. Right. Okay. I'm not good at that. that. Is I'm, not, I'm not great at for... it. That is designed for creatures that are not quite your size, so it's quite tight on you. You're you're not slipping out of it. You will okay, have to that... break it. I don't think I can break it because my athletics is a, my athletics is a plus five. My strength is a two. Y yeah, you you'll have to. I have a number. It's a high number. That does not do it. <laughs> That does not do it. 
All right. So then we'll go on to this Grick, who was knocked prone. And he is going to go ahead and stand up. And one, two, three, four. Try to shoot at the newcomer on his ship. Hugo, that's you. Yeah. I am not sure if that hits you with a 14. That misses. Okay. So, Isaac, you're up. All right. I'm going to stand up. Okay. With half my movement. Hold on, let me adjust my status. I'm going to take 5, 10. Step 10 feet this way. I'm going to test Thunder Wave. Okay. So those drips are going to need to make me a... Oh, they take me. half if they, if they even if they fail, right? Yeah, they take half even if they fail. They both have one HP. God damn it, I was going to shoot them off the ship. <laughs> Well, their bodies will still fly off, probably. They both have one HP. And don't forget if about you, Silva. If you, Silva! Yeah, Silva is prone and automatically fails deck saves. I do Wait, believe. Silva is on the boat? Yes, he's he underneath this He was launched this into here. the grip. Oh, I didn't realize he was under that grip. God damn it. Fine, Silva, I'll help you. Both You're using your thunder wave, right? I did not realize Silva was underneath the grip. I did not want to Maybe. sink inside. It's a ton save. Still would have made the ton save. Oh, it's a con for Thunder Wave? Yeah. Okay. Um, what is Silva's con? Oof. That's a 24. Yep. He, he ain't going flying. But, uh, yeah, it's a but he is going to take half the damage. Yeah, I accidentally grabbed a d20 before I realized Silver was up. I grabbed one too many d8s, so I only take the first two. So he's going to take <laughs> seven and half four. Who knocked down the mast? Silver. <laughs> Silver did. Bad Silver. With uh, with some inspiration from Kubo. I'm gonna throw you both in the water next fucking time this happens. <laughs> Alright, so this Grick is the one that is in the ocean and is now dead. Adam, it's your turn. Yeah, I have to tell you. Okay. Oh, you're up. Well, it's only one thing to shoot at on my screen. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. That's a hit. All right. Try not to hit our friends. 15. He is dead. Reload. And turn. All right, Silva stands up, shakes himself a little bit, dusts himself off, picks up his bar, and what is the what did I say the range on that is? Because this might be a disadvantage. Silva is. Ninety-five. Ninety. Silva's. Five. Silva's a living disadvantage. Yeah. So it is that disadvantage. That is a miss. Wait. Nope. That's a match. God damn, Jesus. Silva. <laughs> He has a plus fucking nine to hit. He's a fighter. With that thing. He has it. All right. And he's then going to just do it again. 
do it again. Nice. That also hits. And one HP. It is dead. Okay, awesome. Meaning it is now Kale, it is your turn. Well, kind of. Wolfheart, I guess you you would if you want to move forward, you are at this moment not perceiving any enemies. Well, let's see where is it? Am I safe to just assume it's like five feet to get onto the ship? At this point. Yeah, I mean you basically jump from one to the other. Okay, so. Because the flying, the flying is kind of fucking it all up. There. So, assume five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Got a dash. What the fuck and then are I'm, you doing? We're gonna wait for my next turn. All right. He's I'll basically check. waiting for things to come up the, the, the deck from below deck. Okay. Chak is going to stand know. up and well, jump over oh. as well. Isn't the uh, entrance to below deck covered up by the partially mast? partially covered? Okay. The, like you you can squeeze through it, but it's not a comfortable fit anymore. Okay. Hail. All right. So down in the depths, I guess I'm trying again. So I have no choice. Uh, it if it's just strength, it's an eighteen. If it's m with my athletics, it's a twenty-one. You were one of the ones that perceived the slight smoky smell, right? Yes, which is why I'm acting. So, the with the uh, renewed vitality after being stuck here for God knows how many days. Um, you hear the sound of gunfire and battle. You hear the screams of death as you, what can only be your captors, are killed. And it renews your spirit to fight. And you strain against your bonds, snapping them free of what has been holding you to the to the base of the uh, the wall there. Mm. You are you are now free. Is the Lemurian sitting next to me also restrained in a similar way? Yes. Since I'm surrounded could... by bones. Is there potentially one that is small enough to fit into the lock? Make me an investigation check. I'm not that good at these. Ten. You do not find one. That would have been a seven for Kubo. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh... Then I'm going to begin, because I don't feel like I'd be able to break the chain, but I think I could break it off of what it's stuck to. Okay. And at least to make so, it a little bit looser so we can unwind it. I'll say you're, you're kind of had your two actions for this turn, yep. I'm going to say, with your breaking and your looking. Yep. So, so that's fine. Kubo. Um, and I actually I need to do a thing real quick. Okay. I, and I you forget I don't have two actions technically anymore. I almost forgot again. Well, I'll say your action to break, bonus action to look at mm -hmm. for a thing. Um, okay. Everyone make me a perception check again that doesn't already smell stuff. 18. Um, I mean, you can make another one if you already did, but... It won't matter. That's a 17. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, all of you are beginning to 
smell the slight um, hint of smoke on the, the salty breeze. Shit. Something must have caught fire. God damn it. So then, Kubo, it's your turn. Uh... I'm going to go here, peek my head down to see what I can see. You're going to peek your head down to see what you can see. Yeah. All right. Allow me to enlighten you to what you see. Is it a whole when lot you, of fuck? When you peek down through there, you can see... this uh, just two of them I I would go look again um, that's all we can see yeah I think if you uh if I you can only see two there... yeah we can only see two from our current a from his current angle yeah let me just uh, go down there ah okay then uh <laughs> yeah so if you're just peeking your head down, you yep. see those six. Okay. Oh god, I count six more of them down there. If only I had a grenade, that'd be awesome. Need to drop another mast on them. Boat. Trying to get information. It's not fire damage. Hey, you're not here. Shut up. I kind of am. The grenade, the grenade no, you're at the bottom damage. of the boat. It is fire damage. Oh, okay. The grenade it, it, is fire damage. It, or at least it, it does partial fire damage. Did Shubo miss my comment of, oh, you could drop another mast on them? Maybe hit them with another ship. I don't respond. <laughs> Do I get any response from Campy? Um... See, your, your spell has the telepathic stuff, right? Uh, yeah, it so, said uh, with, I can yeah, telepathic with, with your... it for a mile. I guess I haven't yeah, connected so... it to be my familiar yet. So it would just yeah, be the would, mile would, by now. Would you have told them, or told Campy to come with you when you left Vulcan? That's going to be the defining factor here. I do know that these are dangerous waters. Then again, it's made of water, so what the fuck can it do? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I would have. Okay, then yes, you would have gotten a response um, that it is it is below you, or it, it is in the water. Mm -hmm. It has been kind of flanking the, the rear of your ship since you left. All right. Uh, I ask it if it can... Uh, see any holes in the Grick ship. Okay. So, what is its movement speed? Um, I should have it here. Oh, shit. That's in its different form. It should be 60. It should be 60? Yeah. Okay. So, it will respond with it does not see any on the starboard side of the ship. Awesome. Cool. Um. Uh, I use 20 movement right there. Um. Uh, five, 10. I go here and ask if are uh, you all okay? <sighs> all right. I'm farther away from everyone. I can't really answer. Yeah. Yeah, and so, I'm literally 40 feet from everyone. 
And I'm in the crow's nest. Yep. Isaac, you're up. Alrighty. Time to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Are, are you actually going all the way down? I, uh, I, see, I remember that he said there were six bits of them down there that he could okay. see. So to squeeze through that hole with the, with the mast over it, it is now difficult to rain. All right. So the, the, the area of the stairs only is difficult to rain. Gee, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> we still have another mast on them. So you actually go all the way down there, Josh? I'm like going you, to you, stop you can see. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can see this entire deck then. Gentlemen. What brings you here? I remember there were six down here and I came prepared for six. Yeah. So that's what you can see as you step down. Hmm. I did see the uh, sits behind me, right? Yes, you would also be able to see the ones behind you. I put this. That ditch those three in this shadow, right? We wouldn't get that fourth one. Correct. I, I go by the base, so yeah. Just the three. If I moved it here. Yeah. I would still get three, but I'd Yeah, you still one. get three. Awesome. I'm gonna shatter those three. Okay. So that's Tron saves from all three of them. Uh, 19, 12, and 22. Oh, two pass. So one takes 13, the other two take... 7. No, 6. The other two take 6. I was hoping that would do a little bit more. The other takes 13. Alright. Oh, my next four is going to be here. Alright. And that's all I can do. So it's Adam. Okay. Adam. You are up. Alright. So I'm going to use my entire turn getting down from the crow's nest. Okay. So you use your action to climb down the crow's nest. So you, uh, I will still say that's like your your dash part of your action. So you would now still have movement. Your your regular movement. Can I make it over there? Um, probably. Yeah. You you would you have thirty or twenty five? Thirty, I think. Let me check. So you, you would be thirty. Okay. So yeah, we'll say you'd be able to haul yourself to about right there. All right. Then I end my turn, because I don't think I can do anything else. All right. So Silva is now going to... One, two, three. Oh, yeah, thank you. I have 10, 15, 20. This is 30. Meaning he can only really see the one. So he is going to fire off a shot with his bar at it. That hits. And it's dead. And that is his turn because he can't see anything else from this angle. 
So Wolfheart. So with my climb speed, I'm going to climb oh. down and take a peek through this window here. Oh, he's okay. smart. Wow, right. who would have thought of that? Someone with climb yeah. speed, which is only I you. Hey, hello. We have climb speed. Who's okay. we? Oh, right, me. <laughs> so, Jacob, as you look inside this small area, um, the first thing you notice is the small fire on the desk. Which I should probably put something there now that that is started. Because somebody dropped a mast on uh -huh. it. Gee, I wonder how um, that happened. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're going to just put a... We're just going to throw a campfire here. There's a fire burning on the desk now. There is also... A brick laying on the ground behind the desk. There are papers on the desk. And a small bed in the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna climb in through the window, so I'm gonna go open open the door so I can climb through. Okay. So I can move my character through. Did I just delete the fucking door? I think it did. Did you? My I bad, think you did. <laughs> I, I right you clicked on it. Door? I don't know. I right clicked on it and it disappeared. And I was just like, okay. Then. Well, the door would be gone anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, none of you guys see in there. There's, mm -hmm. there is a door there. I'm just not gonna bother with going to find it. Hey. So I, I have, I have a theoretical question. Mm hmm. I have a climb speed of 30 feet, but a walking speed of 40 feet. Does that mean I have 30 feet of movement left? How does that work? I think it's equivalent It's equivalent to the amount of, of, of speed you have consumed. So if you consume half of your climb speed, you still have half of your normal so, foot speed. Well, well 10 feet so isn't even half. You've consumed a third of your climb speed. So I will say a th a third of forty is what? Oh, 30. I think it's like thirteen point three. So, so technically yeah, twenty-five. Thirteen point three, which is closer to fifteen than it is to ten. So you use fifteen feet of your walk speed. So you have twenty-five feet of walking movement remaining. That would be about there-ish. Trying to get towards the chair. And I'm going to use my action to put the fire out. Okay, we need to the fire out Sorry, what was that, Dustin? What are you putting the fire out with? What are you doing? It's a small, is that fire, like a... On, it's a small it... fire on papers. I'm putting it out with my hands. I'm petting it. It's all I have. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I burnt my fingers on the stove. What will I do? Oh. So, roll me a con save. <laughs> really? <Okay>. You. <laughs> <laughs> for burning, for doing less than, okay. No, no, the, How the, big was it's, the fire? It's probably, it's probably not what you're thinking. Okay, so you're going to take a d6 instead of a d4. What were you thinking? So you take you take three fire damage as you pat the fire out. Uh, given Tampa is so close to your death seems a bad idea for someone with dark vision. It's probably a candle. It it, it was a candle that fell over onto the desk. Yes. Um, how the fuck? Why can't I delete it? Whatever. Fire's gone. I can't click on it and delete it. I got rid of the door without meaning to, and now I can't get rid of the fire. Alright. Whatever. I, I, I give up. There's no fire there, but it's there.
So the the once you have the fire out, the papers that look like they were burnt and that are also laying around um, seem to be maps of some sort. Is there anything that looks recognizable as I look at it, knowing my background and history with maps, but specifically of, of this area? So, yes, the, the they would have the geography laid out roughly um, correct for shorelines and that kind of stuff. And you also notice that the location on the sea where Salisa Home was attacked has a red marker. And then on the location where you know is the city of Ariel, there is a tree drawn on the map. as well as a few other trees drawn on shorelines further west, um, kind of in... I'm going to have to close these and open them up again. So kind of, you know, over here, Maybe down here, there are trees with red X's through them. All right, I guess I'm going to collect the, collect the maps and end my turn. Okay. All right, chat. Gets down here. He can't end his turn in the same spot as Silva, so he's over here. And he has no ranged ability, so he just does that. What did Chad do with no range? He didn't dash. Uh, yeah, I guess he, he can dash through. So he's going to <laughs> dash through. And turn around over here and rage. Yeah. As he screams for the ancestors. Um, and then that that is going to end his turn. Meaning it is now the Grick that get to go. And Silva killed one of them. Yeah. This one <sighs> is going to bite and claw at you. Those are... An 18 and a 19. Isaac, that's to you. 18 and a 19. Jesus. Yeah, those 18 are hit. damage? Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. 18 to hit. Yeah, those will hit. 18 to hit and 9 damage. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Yep, and that'll. Yep, oh, God, I did 9. Nine is two minus. This right. one is going to run up and bite and claw check. Yes, I was hoping someone would come down there to still tap the damage. Both of those. No. One of those. No, nope, both of those hit. I am struggling with math today. 
as he takes 11 damage, but halved because he's raging. So he takes six. As this one comes up, bite and claw. One of those hits. For five damage. Five damage, halved is three. Way too much shit down here. Bite and claw. Golf miss. Imagine if I gave him pack tactics. He dashes to get to you. He four, five, six. Bite and claw. Those both hit. As he takes another six damage. Yikes. He's not he's, looking. He's raging, right? Yes. <laughs> so he takes half? Yeah, so he would have taken 12, but he ends up taking six. Oh, you already halved it. <laughs> yeah. So he, he rages <laughs> to get here, or he, he dashes to get here. He dashes to get here. Well, there was a lot more than six. Oh, did they come up from the uh, below to O? Oh. He stands up. Let's see. 5, 10, 15. Three, four, five, six. He dashes to get there. He dashes to get there. He dashes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten, five, fifty, fifty five. As all of the Grig that you can see rush up to swarm all of you guys. Oh my god. She had a mast. It is your <laughs> turn. <laughs> oh, I'm sad I didn't get to hear that. <laughs> the Mist Hatchet. Why are you what? Hmm. Somebody came into my chat and said, Why am I? I, I... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Kale, are you doing anything? I'm still going to try to get this Lemurian out, so I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to bust the chain off the wall. Okay. I can't get it. With, with my action. Oh, nope. The difficult terrain. <clears throat> All right. Kubo. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I can't get down. Get to Isaac's motherfucker. <sighs> so the um the lower portion of the staircase, you would be able to stand there because or at least crouch a little bit there, because the mast is kind of held up at an angle. So, so like this, this it, right here, where I just moved Isaac to, uh -huh. you could theoretically stand there. You just can't 
you can't stand here. Is it still difficult to rain? Here, yes. <sighs> Unless you're like a halfling or a gnome. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. I want to use that one spell. But I can't get there. <laughs> Or I guess there's rangers that ignore difficult terrain or something. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. So twenty five. don't know how difficult terrain works i think i can D difficult terrain means you know you have to take double movement okay so i think move. i can at least get to there within 30 oh jesus christ i'm gonna try to cast sleep um you're gonna try to cast sleep yeah okay this is questionable okay uh, what level are you casting sleep at, out of curiosity? Uh, it's a warlock, remember? So it's max. It's at, oh, yeah. It's at third level. Yeah, that's right. It's, a first it's always max with warlocks. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> does it increase? Ugh, fucking yes. warlocks. It doesn't say it increases with level. Unless it does, and I just have to. It does. Play. You get more dice to work with. Yeah, you get an extra, I think, an extra 2d8 uh -huh. per spell level. Oh, fuck, I do. Okay, so, so this yeah, might actually that, save your guys' ass. Because uh, that's how Inara pulled off her bullshit with the, the street vendor. She just put all the guards to sleep, including the vendor, and then just stabbed him in the face and left. So this is 9d8. <laughs> And you wonder why Max caught on to your fucking shit. You were so, so bad at leading witnesses. <laughs> and I, but I was a changeling, so... Oh! Wow, not anything oh. above a four. That is horrid. Oh, Ouch. my God. That okay. might put like one or two of them. To so sleep. What, what is the what is the range of sleep? Uh, it is uh, twenty foot radius. Okay, and where are you casting it? Oh, give me a give me an indicator somewhere. Oh Jesus. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was perfect. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So none of them have been hit, so we're just gonna go <laughs> with this guy falls unconscious. Couldn't yeah, tell but... which one it was. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> one of the ones on the back fell unconscious. Okay. That's it. I will say there was a very, because of how sleep works, you start with the lowest health. Yep. Depending on where you put it, you could have put two to sleep. Mm. That is it. Yeah. Fucking hell. Nine times eight. What's the, what is that? That's Seven, 70... 70, 72. Oh my god. Yeah. You you guys are having my caliber of rolling luck today, to be completely honest with you. Not quite that bad, because if it was your caliber fully, I would have been murked by that boat. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. If Josh was having my caliber of rolls, he would have fallen into the ocean and been eaten by silverfish. Campy might have been able to save him. Maybe. But we didn't establish Campy's presence then. <laughs> not at that time, we had not. So, anyway, it is Isaac's turn. Alright. I should look at that. As your mass of 20 Grick is surrounding you. Well, in what we call a target rich environment. Thunder Gauntlets. <laughs> boom, boom. Chak is literally surrounded on eight sides. Well, I decided to be nice and not give them pack tactics. You're welcome. I Didn't they originally? 
Time for another shad I sent it right about the, there. The, the, uh, the silver, the, the seven... silver flasher fish have pet tactics. Wow. These seven need to make me a ton save. Is that including Kubo? No. Why do you mean seven? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me angle this in a way that. Are you. I'm testing shadow. Which it's is a 10... a 10 foot radius, right? Yeah. So you're casting it on this guy? Yeah. Pretty much right, right here. Right where my circle is. So it tips right Kubo. Where so you don't hit Chack. Yeah. So I don't hit Chack. I don't hit Kubo. Okay. So. Then I need those nine to make comments. Nine. Teams. Oh, I did bad math. There's nine of them there. Yeet. I see two ones at a net twenty. Okay. It's a so, fifteen pass. A fifteen is a pass? Yeah. Okay, well they have a plus three to con. So pass, pass. Critical failure, critical success, failure, critical failure on the dude that's unconscious. That's funny. Hmm. Um, it's a 15, so that's a pass, yeah. and then two fails. Yeah. So pretty even, Mitch. 19. Uh, 19 yeah. Oh, those were so dead fucking. This one is dead. This one is dead. I want to just clear out the dead ones first. This that one is dead. Appreciated. Um, that one passed, and then these two are dead. And the rest of them take half of that, which is yeah. 10. Yep. Uh, nine, which is nine. Half of that's nine. Which is nine, right? Round down. Okay. And the, the guy that takes a critical success has he's that word. Half still. The same Pathfinder. The same Pathfinder. Yeah. All right. So you killed five. Congratulations. There's still 15. I took out a quarter of them, Tubo. A slap them on the shoulder. You're up. <laughs> All right, Adam. <laughs> so how did your face... <laughs> well seeing as how kind of the marksman and I don't like enclosed spaces uh, I'm just gonna fire at the nearest enemy well, actually, I need to move first. So. Yeah, I was going to say, you cannot hit anyone from your current position. Uh. So you, you have to be pretty much where Silva is at to hit anybody. I have to dash. So I can't do anything. Okay. All right. So you get there, you dash, and that's your turn. Oh, and the road you can run is that to dash down there. Mm, no, true. I don't want to be in Deathsville. Okay. That's fair. I wouldn't want to be in Deathsville either. Um, Silva is going to crouch down and turn his bar towards this group um, over on Chak here and just fucking lay into him. It's a 10 foot cube so it hits these four. So he's got to roll. Not 10 foot radius, 10 foot cube. I know, I'm doing measuring. Okay. Alright, okay. So, yikes. Um, those are still all hits. Because <laughs> Silva has a fucking plus nine. Which means they all take this amount of damage. Plus four. So they all take 14 damage. Oh god, does that mean I die? And 
and then he is going to let off his final burst with this magazine hitting all but the first one with an additional 13 damage killing these three Wolfhard, you're up. So if I kill three more. Right. Yeah, Silva has killed 12, I think, so far He's in this good combat. At masses. <laughs> We're a party of single target damage, except for <laughs> now Justin and Josh. Yeah, there, there's a reason I gave you Chap and Silva for this. Because Chap can, is a barbarian and has the damage, and Silva has high area damage. But now he has to spend his next turn in reload. Is the ship still right next to us? Yes. Okay, I'm going to use five movement to hop, and that's basically all of my movement. And I'm going to hand the uh, papers off to another guy. I'm just going to put them there for now. Okay. So the important yeah. paperwork doesn't get lost. All right. So yeah, you see Chief Gray, um, kind of assembling a team to just stay along the sides in case any of the Grick push up through you guys and try to board your ship. And you just hand him the papers, and he grabs them. Yep. All right. Chat. Objective secured. Jack is going to, if I can get his character sheet, please. I don't know why you wouldn't be click over here. I have to click up here. That's kind of dumb, but all right. So he is going to swing with his... Main action at the one directly in front of him with a 10 to hit and misses. So then he's going to try to swing his offhand at it, which also misses. And he's going to use this multi attack to try to hit it, which also misses. All right. Chap does jack shit. Time for the Grick to do things. Oh my god. This one is going to turn and make a claw and bite at you, Kubo. With a an eight and a thirteen. Both miss. All right. This one. Bite and claw check. Both hit. I'm gonna fucking kill Jack. I'm gonna be sad. I like Jack. <laughs> Unlike the rest takes of us, another oh, right. five points oh, of damage. Boat. Yeah. No. There you go. It was Silver. being covered up. I forgot to uncover it up. Silva, save your brother. <laughs> All right, three plus two, which means he takes three damage. Good lord. Alright, this one is at Isaac. Bite and claw. Alright, roll low. Oh, so the bite is... Yeah, the bite is an 18, so I will roll damage on that. Yes. Which is 3. Yes. And then the nat 1... Nothing happens. 
literally the lowest you can get. Nothing happens. This one, uh, Kubo, bite and claw at you. Uh, those are both 12s. Miss. All right. I just realized you're still using the big old mini with all the armor and the sword. Yeah. This one doesn't do anything. <laughs> this one is going to move up. Yes. Make a bite and claw at Jack. Both miss. My rolls are exemplary. What 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 is this? What is this? I can't even roll higher than a ten with a fucking D one hundred. You voiced uh, you voiced concerns about killing chat and then the dice granted your request. <laughs> and he's like, what Damn. the fuck? You are up. I'm assuming you're gonna try to just break his chains again. Yeah. Okay. Not much. Not really much else I can do unless I leave him for dead. Because you have a plus two, right? For if strength. you're talking about strength, if you're talking about strength. athletics, it's five. Strength. Yeah. And then, a, then that's a nope. Kubo, you're up. Okay, in this radius, does it hit this far guy in the corner? I don't think it does. With that radius, does it hit the far guy in the corner? Uh, shit. You're talking this Dude. guy? Yeah, that guy. I don't think it did. Excuse I me, don't think it did either. Okay. Uh, I am going to grab Isaac and cast Thunderstep. Oh, shit. Let's I didn't move. realize. There are people right above me. Let's move. <sighs> oh, fuck. There are people above me. Didn't think of that. Don't be a coward. Um, don't not be a coward. All right. So I need constitution saving throws from... Oh. The four that were in there. You could have taken one step forward on the steps and hit the dirt <laughs> in front and still taken me, but let's rock so, and roll. That, that's this? Uh, yeah. And it was placed right. so it does not hit chat. Yeah, like right there. Okay. Does it hit so that's people? only gonna hit the, the front three. It hit Silva, okay. And yes, Just it go. hit Silva as well. Wait, really? I thought it would hit back as well. Or, I don't think so. Goth. It's a ten footer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I if I look down from a top down, yes it does. Yeah, perfect. So okay. So you need con saves from those three or those four? Yes. Of okay. sixteen. And then Silva's Um so two pass, two fail, Silva Fails. Huh. Silver has more damage from his allies this round than he has his enemies. So the ones that fail take 10, the ones that pass take 5. Okay, and... Silva takes 10 damage. Oh god. This one passes, the other, so it takes 5. Okay, so I teleport us. This one fails, so Over it's here. dead. This one passes, so it takes 5. And this one fails. All right. Move me with him. And you go with him. Oh, it only killed one? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> All right, Isaac. All right. Ah. Thank you, Kubo, for teleporting us over here. How, uh... How healthy is Kubo and how healthy is Chat? Chat. I have never well, been hit. Well, Chat, in all honesty, you can't really tell because he is completely surrounded on just about all sides by the Grick, and he is uh, si fairly significantly smaller in mass than them. You can't see much of him right now. Silver does before Chat, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, 
20 foot okay. cube and to make the cube. So a 20, a 20 foot cube is not a radius. So a, yeah, a 20 foot cube will just let me know where so you want be the points radius. to be. Yeah. So how would I did a 20 foot cube to get all of these grit? To get all of those? Yeah. Basically, uh, let's see. I'm assuming you're going to try to avoid hitting Silva in chat. Oh, no, chat. Or are you going to hit chat? I'm going to hit chat. It's okay. Are you going to try to avoid Silva? I didn't hit Silva, too. Chat might have a little problem, but Silva... As long as it gets all those grit inside of it, I'm going to set Silva up to do what he does best. and sweep all of them. Okay. There is your 20-foot right. cube. I need death saves from all of them. As I'm testing fairy fire. Oh. All right. Let me do the Grick first. Oh God. <laughs> oh oh God. man. And the deck save is a plus two. So what is this actual save? It's a fifteen. Okay. So this one passes. This one passes. It's you said it's fifteen. Yeah. So four that one's lit up like. Self like a Christmas tree. Um, that's a pass. That's a pass. This one's lit up like a Christmas tree. And this one is lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, Silva now, has a vantage on those three. Shaq and Silva. Shaq I gets an 11. Silva gets 13. So Shaq is lit up like a Christmas tree. And... Silva is lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm giving Silva his targets to save chat. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's uh, that's all I can do. Alright, Adam, you are up. Alright. Let's get in there and die. Can I snipe from here? Uh, depends on what you're trying to hit. Uh, literally the thing that's right in front of me that I cannot miss. Alright, this one, or this one, or this one? The one to my left. So you're trying to hit this one? Correct. That is at disadvantage with your sniper rifle, unless you have the feet that removes that disadvantage. I think I do. Which... It's sharpshooter, right? No, that's no, close it's, quarter combat. It's close quarter combat. Okay, I do not. So, then if you're shooting that one, it would be a disadvantage. What about the one in front? This one would not be a disadvantage. Well, let's do the one we're not at disadvantage. All right. Ta-da! Oh, god damn it! Uh, that's twelve. I don't think that does. That's anything. a miss. Mm, reload. Be upset. <laughs> All right. Well, Silva is basically going to stick the gun down right to the left of him. And, uh, would technically be a disadvantage on those two. But, which ones of these? So, it. Disadvantage, disadvantage, and and advantage. Okay, so this is to hit the first one. That's fifteen. That's to hit the second one. At disadvantage, it's nineteen, and this is to hit the third one at advantage. Is a fifteen. So he hits all of them. All right. Silva is a beast of a man. And then that is plus four. So that guy has... No. This. You are dead. Not this. Oh, wait, shit. 
Silva has to reload this turn. That is my bad. Silva has to reload. This guy is actually still here. This guy takes all of his health back. This guy takes all of his health back. Silva reloads. And it is now Wolfheart's turn. Fuck is up with that character. Oh. Uh, that should be my attack. I'm just gonna move you so you're not in his same space. Doesn't add any movement, but. Fuck, I probably would have stayed up here. Only because... So, so that one you can't occupy. That space has a mast on it. The lower one has a opening, but that upper left, or upper whatever one, the mast You see how is... thick this floor is, right, Dustin? You can see how thick the floor is? Yes, you can see how thick the floor is. Great. It's basically a 2 by 4 Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, So, instead of doing what I was going to do, I'm going to go here. Hunter's Mark, the thing I can see. Meaning you, I know you, where it is. Oh, you, no, are stand, you are you standing on forward. top of the mast at that point. Okay, I, then I'm right here. There. Okay. Or I'm here. Or Ooh. I'm here. All right. I, I just, I, just, I want to make sure you know you're standing on the mast if you're in that spot. Just because I don't have... I didn't plan for you guys to knock the mast over, so I don't have a... An, I don't know how to fucking deal with that. <laughs> but, okay. So you want a hunter's mark, the one you can see. Yep. So, and like, this guy... Over... Yep, so like right. that guy. Okay, I'm just gonna is... move over, and since I know where he's at, I'm going to shoot him through the floor. <laughs> because with Hunter's Mark... I don't think Hunter's Mark lets you ignore cover. No, it doesn't let me ignore cover. But you do know but where he is. if he moves, I know where he's at. Basically, he's Which tracking him through the floor. Which means I can walk a couple feet over and pop him through the floor again. So I'm going to say he's got three-quarter cover. Or no, I'll give, I'll give him half. It's a two-by-four. You said it was a two-by-four. Yes. What, so what, what is half cover? It's plus two AC? Uh, plus two AC. I'm gonna give him half cover. Because no, normally you wouldn't be able to do that at all, but I'm gonna give him half cover because Hunter's Mark. So. And the, the difference between you know normal D and D and this is this is a gun, versus what yes. would normally be an arrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give him half cover just in case there's a weird deflection or something. First one. Bounced off the fucking Narnia. 18. That's a hit. 
That's All a hit right. even even with three quarters covered. Because three quarters is plus uh, five, right? Something like that. So that's a hit. It's a hit even with three quarters. Um the has he taken damage? Yes. He has three HP left. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Yes. He'd be dead. I don't I don't even I don't even have to add Hunter's Mark or Colossus Slayer. <laughs> he's already dead. Yeah. He he gone. Alright. Um and that's kind of my turn because I have to be able to see a target to to switch it. So Progress. Alright, Jack is gonna try to kill the one that foiled his attempts at murder last time. With a nineteen. That's a hit. Woo. Jack finally did something. Woo. And that is ten damage. It's got one HP. No! <laughs> God, that's the worst. And that's a miss. And so then his multi deck. Because using an offhand is a bonus action, right? If Unless you have the two hand fighter thing. Yeah. I think but that's a hit. And that's going to kill it. No matter what. Yes. So check. Finally adds a kill to his repertoire. Where did that come from? Finally adds a kill to his repertoire as Silva is sitting at 12. And then it is the Grick turn, and this one is going to turn around and try to bite Isaac. And Claw, I guess. One of those is a hit for five damage to Isaac. This one is going to bite Claw Jack. Those are, uh, those are both hits. Why can I hit Jack and nobody else? What is this? He takes five damage. All right. Bite and claw. It's two damage. All right, Adam, Bite, and Claw going at you. Um, one is a nine. That's no. One is an eleven. That's gonna miss. The other's an eighteen. It's an eighteen hit. Go, oh, eighteen hit. Yeah, it's right. gonna probably kill me. Um, with six damage, I hope it doesn't kill you. Uh, I am at 1 HP. What is your health total? 27. The fuck? You only have 27? No, HP? that shouldn't be the case, Ko. You're level 5, right? Yeah. Have uh, you been adding... no. Right, yes, he hasn't been new. here. But I'm not being a dick about it, and I don't want to keep track of you assholes at different levels, so you're all level 5. <laughs> yeah, well... Okay. No, that's what I mean. I don't, I don't know. The dragon fight. Yeah, no, we yeah, we've been level five yeah. since before the dragon. How much experience yeah. do I need? We're you should be at level we're, five. We're just milestoning it. You should be at level five. Oh, I am at level five, I guess, but my health is still twenty seven. So you've not been rolling your hit dice? Potentially. I I'm guessing you never rolled your level five hit die. Yeah. So what? What is rogue? Is rogue a D eight or a D six? D six. Okay, so roll a D six and add your con and add that to your max health. So, so what's three your con modifier? Plus two, so that's an extra five health. 
Yeah. Sorry, D8. So, oh, Wait, D8? D8? Okay, roll, roll a D, D8 and then add your two. Okay, nice. so you, you gain an extra nine. nine health. So you're at 10 health and your max health goes up to 36. Yep. Um, That's, that seems a little more reasonable. Still on the low side. I was going to say, like, I even have 50. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah, me not being here, I think we were going to roll the dice and we just never got around to it. And then this one is going to be four. Isaac, bite and claw at you. One of those is a hit for four damage. This one is going to turn around, procking an attack of opportunity by Jack. Um, yeah, that's a hit. It's a, oh, yeah, it's a up. Chat has advantage on it, too. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. Because uh, that one's lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, and that does but, 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 uh, five damage, and he falls over dead. And this one, is this one lit up like a Christmas tree? It is. This one is going to turn around. Jack already used his attack of opportunity, and this is going to try to bite Claw Kubo. Uh, missing. I'm assuming a 15 is a miss. Correct. All right, Kale. God, this is taking longer than I thought it was. Thought yep. it would. 20 people take a long time Man. to kill. Man, these rescuers th sure suck at their job, and I pull oh. the chain again. I'm not actually saying that out loud. I think I finally fucking break and the damn you, chain. Yep, you rip the... It's basically just one of those little metal rings that's bolted into the wall, and you, you rip it right out of the wooden section of the wall. Um, after getting the chain off, I'm going to help them stand and start moving them towards the stairs on the other end. It do may... I know where my gear is? You do not. Okay. You do not know where your gear is at. And I'm assuming since there's no crates down here, there, there's nothing for me to search through, so I'm just going to assume it's on a level up. Okay. So, yeah. They, they will slowly and hesitantly get up and... and oh, no, I'm throwing my I'm throwing mouth. their arm over my shoulder, and I'm pulling them with me. Okay. Because right. I'm still under the assumption that there's a fire spreading through the boat, and we have to hurry. So I'll move right. my thirty feet then. So five, oh. ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Well, if you're out. if you're, I'm gonna say I, you said that they're working with me, yeah, but I'm help. I'm making help of, them. Yeah, they need your help. They couldn't do it alone, but you're not really dragging them either. Okay. So then I believe that makes it Kubo's turn. Yep, I'm gonna fire two Eldritch blasts. One at this guy at disadvantage because he's close, and then the other one right here. Okay. This is the disadvantage. Six plus eight. Ah, oh, that's a twelve. That's a miss. Okay, and the other one. That's a hit. All right. That's the far one, right? Yep. Yeah, so he had one HP. Dead. All right, Isaac. All right. Got one in front of me. Good old punchy boys. That's a 13 and a 21. Yeah, those are both hits. And that's 16 damage to the one directly in front of me. He did. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna try and quickly and try to bat up a bit, put some distance between me and the dredge. Okay. Adam, you are up. This should be good. I can move past this guy without taking an attack of opportunity, right? Do you have a rogue ability that lets you do that? Or are you taking your attack, your action to bonus action disengage? disengage. Right, for your rogue, yeah, okay. bonus action disengage. Okay. So yeah, you can bonus action disengage, and then you can move without taking an attack of opportunity. Yes. All right, let's do that. Gonna move out here. And this isn't close enough to where I should have an attack. Correct. Disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yes. Listen, we gotta get use out of this. We didn't pay for this fancy shit for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 16. That's definitely a hit. Oh my hey, God. 17. That would have killed him even if he was at full health. He did. Ugh. Feels right. good to be a gangster. <laughs> Silva is going to now reload it, look down, and disadvantage on this one. That's an at one. Somebody give me even or odd. Even. All right. Ah, uh, Silva's gun jams. God damn it, Silva. All right. So you don't have insurance for that one. That is the end of his turn. Wolfhard. You are up. Jacob, you're up. My bad, that round took extremely long. Well, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, that's just that's how it happens sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm not getting you up for it. Freaking happens and you just lose focus. Ten... Uh, right there would be 15. Uh, Alright, I'm going to change Hunter's Merc to the guy that's kind of in front of me. Talking to this uh, dude over by Kubo? Yup. Okay. That is a hit. Is he taking damage? No. No, he is not. No damage. Okay. Nope. So that is... 44. One for Hunter's Mark, three for the typewriter. Hunter's Mark's a D6. I don't know if I want to re-roll. <laughs> what's, what's your plus? Um... Four. He said. <laughs> it's been rolling D6. That's fucking funny. Yeah, he did. He picked it. I'm gonna move proccing one attack of opportunity from the guy that's right next to the stairs. You do not proc an attack of opportunity because the stairs get in the way. Stairs get in the way, okay. 
Then I'm going to try and shoot um, this okay. guy here. All right. He has been damaged before. He yeah. is normal. He is not affected by fairy fire. 11? That is a miss. Do I have to reload that turn? I might have to. The BFG like reloads every. Oh, yeah, but I've been I've been yeah. using the typewriter right. since we're in close quarters. Yeah, and I was keeping track of it on my fucking phone, and then I think I accidentally closed the tab. I was keeping track of it on. Good to. Jack is gonna make three That's attacks with the one standing in front of him. At an eighteen, a thirteen, and a dirty twenty, they all hit. At one six fourteen damage plus Yeah, he's this one's dead. Alright. Rick Bite and Claw Chap. Both of those are a hit. Six, ten, he takes five damage. The other Grick bites and claws at him. Ooh. So the bite and the claw is yikes. No, wait. The bite doesn't hit, does it? Oh, because Jack. Oh, shit, I'm supposed to be rolling these at advantage. So, that's the bite is a crit. Claw. I'm not going to retcon the other one. Because they both hit anyways. That one it is a miss, so... Five plus two is seven, so he takes four damage. All right, Kale. Kale is up. I'm assuming you're going to move this dude with you. Austin. Yeah. Sorry. You're up. I'll You're move. Up. I'll move the move the sixty feet dash with the uh, with the person. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, oh, oh, 55, oh. 60. His head pokes right. up above the floor just a little bit. Uh, one of these Austin's guys. Austin's does. Yeah, when you were moving him. <laughs> uh, one of those guys are fairy fired, right? Uh, one of the... One of the Grick? Uh, yes. One of the Grick has, is lit up by Fairy Fire. It's the far one from yeah. you. Yeah, alright, I'll start with that one, with an Eldritch Blast. Alright, that's just a hit. Alright. Uh... Jeez. That's ten damage. Okay. And... Oh, is it still up? Yep. This is also an advantage. Okay. And it hits it then. Perfect. I was hoping it would kill it. And another 10 damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and now he did. Yay! Alright. Alright, it's Josh's turn. Alright, Isaac. Josh, you are up. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go ahead and drop concentration on Fairy Fire since Chats is the only one with it on him. Alright. <laughs> He's no longer lit up like a Christmas. I'm gonna tree. magic missile that last brick for 8 damage. Alright. Continue my small walk this way, 15 feet at a time. 
I don't want to okay. move too fast. All right, Adam, you're up. All right. I'd like to step around my teammates and back up and shoot. All right. Take your shot. Try to avoid hitting my teammates. That's 21. Sixteen. He is dead. Woo. Yes. Oh God. I'm uh. So, Wolfhard, are you gonna? You are out of combat. Are you gonna? Um. Mention the dead Grick in the little office area to anybody. He was dead. Yeah. <laughs> the mask landed on top of it. <laughs> I don't you think don't that would have been you, you what killed that. it. You don't know what oh. killed it unless you go investigate it, Mr. Kubo. Guess that's it you only know about it if Wolfhard tells you about it. Yeah. Or you go find it. But yeah, so you are uh you are out of initiative order. Congratulations. <laughs> You've cleared the ship and you didn't fucking burn it down. Despite Did someone trying. Be dragging the <laughs> I'll, I'll be dragging the uh, the yeah. Lemurian up. Go, go grab him real quick. So, given the fact that they just fit their finishing combat, still, still probably on guard. Oh, yeah. How do you guys react seeing two people emerge from the hold? <laughs> Neither of which are Grick. Unarmed, disheveled. Hold on. Roll perception? I'm looking right at them. Yeah. yeah he, 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 they would not be hard to see. Um, you, so, Austin, describe your character to them as um, Kale walks up. Upstairs. Fucking huge ass bitch. <laughs> huge ass bitch. That's, that's very descriptive. You know, uh, that's a yeah. lot of detail. Yep, give me a oh. second. I, I have to remember the exact height, because I, I didn't write it down anywhere, obviously. But, um, I can send you a picture of the mini. Yeah. Once, the the mini is what's... Works. The mini yeah. is in Tailspire. <laughs> but it's not very well. lit up down here. I mean, I can put a torch on you. It doesn't That's help fair. much. I think that made it worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that doesn't have much. <laughs> Let's see. Just under eight foot tall. So, oh cr but crouching, crouching right now with the fact that she is carrying somebody. And a snippet tool, please. And I will send it real quick over to the D and D chat. Destroy men. There is the lady. But uh, so blonde hair, uh, blue eyes. Probably not currently wearing the leather armor, but still is in. Uh, uh, still having like slightly fingerless gloves, like more like archery archer gloves with the uh, kind of similar to uh, the sailing uh, shirts from the 1800s, uh, like the the white poofy ones. All right. Uh, and hey, Josh, the, the are... Lemurian yeah. is all black. Is your helmet on, Josh? Uh, yeah, Suki have been killing him. And... Okay. Wolfheart, I need a perception check from you. Nice! Where was that earlier? <laughs> right. right. Um, so what is your perception? That's, that's ridiculous. 19. Right? 
So both of you recognize this Lemurian. He's from Salisaholm. And he was betrothed to Silas, who is Kaji's daughter. Mm. And he went missing after your ship was attacked by the six Grick boats. Mm, the boat that got away. No, <laughs> So who's talking first? I'll talk first. <laughs> Are there any more prisoners on this ship? Do you speak Lemurian? <laughs> no, I do not. So he won't understand a word I say. But I, I will. Um, let me just fucking zone in again because it's been it's been a bit. So I was trying to remember the voice. No, gentlemen, the, there are no survivors. And you say that in common? I do. You're not exactly the rescue party I was imagining. Now that is interesting. You're not from around here either, are you? <laughs> Quite astute. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh. Well. No. Know, people are dying. Who, Jacob. Jacob. Fuck! I was about to bring up Jacob. Well, uh... this conversation is happening. Wolfheart just falls over on the floor. <laughs> Seizure, just starts seizing up. <laughs> Absolute face plant right into the wood. He, man, he, he must have really recognized this person. So, uh... The other thing, now that you guys Wolfheart are has um, out of combat, you would all kind of start picking up on the fact that this entire boat smells like rotting flesh and there are not only the blood stains that you have left from killing all the Grick, but there are just blood stains that have been dry just everywhere on this boat. Huh. Why are you saying what, wait a second, Justin? I don't Fuck, Jacob's not here. Fuck. The, uh, the last person we met here who used Carmen was, uh, found it from a dictionary. And again, I'm, I'm an elf. Fuck. Oh, wait. Um, chat, check. Uh, check. Uh, do the Grick normally take prisoners? I, I'm, if you I'm not know. sure if they normally take prisoners or not. Usually after a Greek attack, there are many left dead or assumed dead, many missing. And you know, as you saw, they tend to try to leave any survivors from the assault floating a flame on the water. And not many live to tell the tale after that, to be honest. I'm just going to there direct... There a handful of homes lost in my lifetime. I'm going to Mostly direct... Mostly from farther west, but... Sorry. No, no. Uh, yeah, when, when I over... When he says that, I'm like, I'm going to direct his attention over to the stew pot in the corner. There's your answer. Jack oh, looks over and just shudders, like visibly shudders. You can see his fur actually like stands out on end, making him puff, puff up a little bit as he just shakes, shudders from literally head to toe as he looks at the stew pot. 
And Austin, you would know it wasn't just Lemurians on this ship. Yeah. Remainder of my crew as well, right? Uh, some of them. Hmm. I'm going to go put on actual pants for work. Okay. Not all no. of your crew was Is it taken on. Ready to go? I'll be back on in a moment in my car. Okay. No. Let's get <laughs> this gentleman out above the d deck so he can see sunlight again. And I need to find my gear. Anything past that can wait until we're off this infernal boat. Well, I hope sense. you can make it up the stairs, all right. I made it up this stairs, and then noticing the fucking mess. That would be the loud noise I heard. That too. Speaking, speaking of that, when we did bet on the boat, Google, I'm going to punch you in silver. <laughs> okay. You both almost killed me. Goodbye for a moment. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, get y'all back on our ship. Let's see if then we can. I'm gonna. Pass the Lemurian over to Chet because he looks like he might be able to help him pass the debris better than I can. Okay. Chet kind of yeah. comes over and supports him and yeah, helps him helps him up. Um, and then I'm gonna finally s stand up fully and stretch because it's probably the first time I've been actually able to stretch since breaking free. Yeah. Oh, damn! I never thought I'd break those iron chains. Iron chains, huh? Indeed. Uh, and she'll start strutting towards the back where those crates are. Okay. The Grick must be smarter than they look. Well, you have to keep your prisoners tied down somewhere. I'll look through the boxes here. Alright. Uh... You go through a couple of these ones over on the left-hand side, and you find some rather unique skulls. Fun. I'm going to leave them there. Okay. And look at the other other boxes. Um, as you start going through these. You find you know, various uh, equipment. You find axes, shields. You end up finding your stuff in this pile. There's also, you know, very yeah. I'll, I'll toss uh, the other Lemurian gear. In... Gear. Yeah. Here as well. I'll toss all the gear, the gear that is not mine off to the side. Like, well, take whatever you wish. I have no use for it. Um, as from uh, after slipping on the the leather harness, uh, uh, she she restrings a incredibly large uh, longbow that is bigger than normal, with gigantic shafts uh, in a in a quiver that are the shafts themselves are on the quiver are about five foot long. <laughs> Silva, at this point, notices the giant last longbow. He's like, looks at his bar, looks at the longbow. She kind of nods and says, well, all right. I think I'm going to like you. And then yeah, we'll, walks we'll upstairs. Um, anything of note back. that's Sounds interesting back. in that crate besides the gear? Not really. Um, there's no paper, no like, nothing. No paper. It looks like it's probably just, just 
the gear of people they have captured and eaten. Killed, yeah. So were they is my monocle there? Here? Yes, your monocle is in here. So no. were they planning to eat you? I'd assume that'd be the case. They didn't really talk to me otherwise. Um, Did you see any other prisoners that mysteriously disappeared? Well, then after they disappeared, a couple hours later, the bones came back. So they were killing them and probably eating them. Correct, yes. I'd like to see the sun sunlight again. I'm gonna oh. try to and immediately look at the fucking boat that is wildly different. Is... Yeah. So as you step into the sunlight, you notice the boat with the giant ass guns, a flag you don't recognize, well, made entirely I... of metal, iron, which at the time you come from is inconceivable. Right. Do I fully not recognize it, or is it similar to a design to a design you that I would know? Fully do not, because you you're from like true colonial pre revolution mm. America before the flags. Mm. So you do not recognize it at all. It bears the same colors as the Union Jack, but that is the only similarity that you can find. Other than that, this flag is unknown to you. Interesting technology. I don't recognize the flag. That's the United States flag. United States? Yep. Of what? America. Well, it's America. Oh, you, the Puritans. <laughs> Puritans, right? You upstart colonials or colonists? How how is the the colony going? By the by, it seems There's... technology has definitely been thriving. Uh, it is. It's no longer a colony. It has separated from Britain. It is its own thing now. Hmm. In fact, Britain is an ally in our current war. And yet, you are no longer part of the English Empire. Nope. We settled that debate a couple hundred years ago. Most of what is the English Empire is not the English Empire anymore. <laughs> I see much has fallen into disrepair since our departure. At this point, Dustin, India, uh, India was its own country again, right? In World War II? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think so. Let me look, let me look it up. Well, I think back in those, was any part of the colonies then for um, England? Or was it, it later? Was Gandhi. I don't think it was Gandhi. Gandhi's yeah, reason in, why they're not longer... India did not gain independence from Britain until 1947. Yeah, so, so it was after. They still have India. Oh, there's that. Yeah, you would still like India. What about Australia? Australia had separated from them by then. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to be the criminal record to move to Australia. Um, Egypt has... At this time, Egypt has gained independence from Britain. Ah! Oh. A lot. Canada 
is now its own country, although Canada was a good part French as well. Um, and still Afghanistan has gained independence. Iraq has gained independence. Currently, a part of the British Empire would be Jordan, Pakistan, India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Israel, Libya, Sudan, Ghana, Malaysia, Somaliland, Cyprus, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Kuwait, I can't even say that, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Uganda, Zanzibar, Kenya, Malawi, Malta, Zambia, the Gambia, Maldives, Guyana, Botswana. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of shit. Plus, what us but, Americans know all of them? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just like the big ones. Actually, well, the date of I final mean, we've got relinquishment a on the board. The date of final relinquishment of British powers in Australia was in 1986. Hmm. Well. Uh, I'll say, I suppose that I'll take you at your word that we are allies in this instance, but I'll be frank, um, you do not control me. I appreciate your assistance in this matter, but clearly you did not know that either of us were there, so we'll call it a happy accident. That's fair. Uh... But Works for us. Do you have any oh, information? Oh, hmm. oh, okay. She, she started like the North uh, Catalonial England in America, like is what she remembers. And that was how long ago? Uh, at this point, that was approximately 250 years ago. Oh, that's normal for now. How long have I? How, how no, long have? No, it was a hundred and seventy years ago. Ah. How long have I been here, Justin? You have been here for approximately three hundred years, roughly. I have been here for about three hundred years, give or take. It's been hard to keep track of some of the seasons since it's not. Fully lined up. Are you in general? Oh. Say again. Uh, so how old are you in general? Like. That's a secret, my dear. That's not very polite to ask a lady. <laughs> yeah, actually, Sil Sil Silva would chime in and say, "Well, that's not awfully polite to ask a lady." Yeah, but well, you Thank lost you. your occasion when you almost hit me with the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he just laugh. Uh, and she turned to Silva and said, "Thank you, rather large gentleman." My pleasure, ma'am. As he kind of takes his hat off and does a little half bow. Uh, is is uh, our is Walker pretty much right up against this boat? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump yes, over at, to at it. this point. Um, they have basically tied off at a certain points to keep mm -hmm. the boat attached while they're trying to figure everything out. And you, you say you jump across? I uh, basically look over to make sure that no one's stopping me from it at, as I go through, cause I approach the railing. As you approach the railing, you would get questioned, who the hell are you? By people holding guns, probably. Yes. The name is Lady Kale. You could address me as such. Well, Lady Kale. Is this, uh... Why were you Captain, aboard Captain a Grick ship? No, this is Chief Grey. Chief Grey. I'll kind of hold up my arms where I'm assuming I have large iron welts for me breaking through the chain. So you, you do that. Chief Greg turns to uh, just one of the one of the navy men next to him and just says, "Go get the captain." 
So Captain Reddy comes down. And he's like, looks at you. I am Lieutenant Captain Reddy. Or not, no, what is it? <laughs> Lieutenant Lute Captain Reddy? Lieutenant, it's Lieutenant Commander Reddy. Ah. I'm Lieutenant, Lieutenant Captain Reddy of the United States Navy. And who might you be? As I have already introduced myself, I am Lady Caleb. And where do Obviously you hail Obviously of the from? English Empire. Ex English Empire. English Empire. I'm sorry, but from where where I am, it is still holds true. No matter what the current empire in our original world may have fallen to, not so much here. Couple questions. First, when did you cross into this world? If you say this is not your original. Roughly Second, 300 years ago. Why were you aboard a Grick vessel? I will again hold up my arms and show the show the welts. Obviously Are not you... my choice, my dear. And yet, you claim to have freed yourself. Mm, I... My men claim freeing you. Correct. I heard fighting. I smelled smoke. Assumed the vessel was being set on fire, and rightly thought that no one would be thinking of looking for prisoners on a Grick ship, and broke myself and this uh, other Lemurian out of their own prison. So, at this point, Captain Reddy says and looks over at Bradford, who followed him down here, and asks Bradford if he would speak with the Lemurian that you pulled off the boat to corroborate this story, to which he does. And Isaac will raise his hand and appoint it as he bends to be like, to be fair, Captain, if I heard fighting on a ship and uh, I was captured, I'd probably try to break out but trying to go before that dating one at least twenty grit on arm would not seem like a pleasant idea. I love the fact that I can't understand him at all. I, yeah, I can't understand a word you're saying, Josh. Does anyone yeah, here speak transformer? Yeah, you're full robot. -y. Either get closer to your phone or it's, get on it's data. Work. No, the, the, our I'm job is I'm on being... my way to what? Oh, okay. That, that, you're not robot yeah, now. You're you're a lot better now. I'm not, I'm not at what. I'm on my way okay. to what. But uh, you're, you're... I'll be like, ready? If, and um, uh, her defense, to be fair, if I was held prisoner on a dread vessel, I wouldn't try to break out till I heard, you know, fighting and such, because trying to take 20 dread unarmed does not seem like a pleasant time or a good idea. You have a fair enough point. I will grant you access aboard my vessel. However, until we learn a little more about each other and can trust each other a bit more, I'm going to ask that you surrender your weapons. This directly goes against my wishes in the case of while we are working together, given the fact that from what I've heard from your men, you are allied to my nation. I don't really have a choice when I am outgunned. We have no quarrel with you as far and as yet I'm you're aware. taking my weapons. Because, well, we didn't have a quarrel with the first things we met on this island, this world, either. But they attacked us, and I mean no offense, but I don't know you. And while you say you are from the British Empire, you are from a 
claim to be from a time, well, frankly, before America became its own. And I see why I'm a little hesitant about handing over my weapons. And I will point out two I flaws. I understand your... your hesitancy. I will point However, out However, this flaws. is still my ship, and I am still the captain. And if you wish passage back to the place we have been stationed, you will surrender your weapons. Until such time as we have more opportunity to discuss and learn more about each other. And once that trust has been established, your weapons will be returned to you, of course. I will point out two flaws. I understand that I have no real leeway when it comes to it, but I, I point it out nonetheless. One, I am not from this world, given the fact that I am speaking to you in our common tongue of English, and the fact that I have know of your existence as a colony of the English Empire, which is not something I feel would be rather well known in this world, would it be not? And secondly, I have not attacked you. As you said, you're outgunned. As long as we're putting it that way instead of any other diplomatic way, Captain. And I'll be honest, this does not make me wish to share any information with you, being treated as a prisoner. And I will sling over you my... You will not my... be treated as a prisoner. You are not going to be locked up. The weapons being taken from me makes me feel as it, such. It is the a precaution. The... Would you not do the same were the roles reversed? Were the roles I'm, reversed? I'm, steal I'm stealing your accent. Were the roles <laughs> reversed... Would you not do the same to any of my men? Depends on the situation. The exact same situation. Same one of my men. Same situation. The same, fact that say he... Mr. Silva over there had been taken captive by one of the Greek, and you and your country, Navy men, I'm assuming you have one, being British, from the British Empire, one of the historically strongest navies to exist, and I would assume you have remained as such. Therefore, I assume you have warships such as ours. Had you taken a Greek vessel captive and found Mr. Silva tied up on it, and he had went and retrieved his weapon after being freed, would you have allowed him to openly carry it aboard your vessel? I find a hard time believing that you would. Number one, in all honesty, maybe. It depends on how Mr. Silva defended himself upon our request of it. And number two, the other reason is that if Mr. Silva had done anything that I would consider to be dangerous to any of my men, if it were in my situation, I'd be able to cut him down before he could do so. And she'll just smile a very cold smile to Captain Reddy as she truly... slings over her 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 uh, the uh, will of arrows. Will what the fuck is it called? Quiver. 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 Okay. Thank you. So just just the quiver is what you're slinging over. I'm keeping the bow because a bow cannot be used as a weapon without arrows, especially with these being custom arrows. Being, being five foot long. And then I will take my uh, my rapier in its sheet. I basically t unbuckle my, my belt that has my dagger and my rapier, and I will toss those over as well. Captain Ready will grab him and say, You have a point with the bow. Let's consider it a first sign of attempted trust between us. And then he turns and takes the, ra the rape here in the quiver and uh, says to one of the stewards next to him, have this taken to Mr. Letts 
and see them. Nobody is allowed to sign them out other than me, if you would. And the guy takes them and heads off below decks. Captain Eddie turns around and gestures to you. Welcome aboard USS Walker, Lady Kale. And I will go ahead and board the vessel. All right. So let's call it there, because I gotta okay. get ready for fucking work tomorrow. And we've been at it for five hours. <laughs> I have been live for how long? Oh, Thank you Four for hours bearing and with 50 us. minutes. Why did you have to be British? Because British is fun accent to do. Because that was the choice that Dustin laid before me. Just one of them. Mm. Yeah. What's wrong with me being British, Josh? Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you have against him being British? There's nothing wrong with him being British. Then why'd you question it? I don't have a problem with him being British. I just have a problem him being part of the asshole timeline of British. <laughs> I am not going to say anything else on the topic. <laughs> no, no, f please continue, Josh. Um, I also, would not when, like she... You to you. <laughs> when she would have said, like, if Mr. Silver had caused any issues, I would have cut him down before he caused any. Uh, she would have turned back to him and said, no offense. Silver would have just kind of smiled and said, smiled, winked, and said, I'm always up for a little wrestling. When I see him wink, uh, that... I'm going to kick him in the knee. <laughs> you, you should have kicked him in the balls. Silva, you're a married uh, man now. Uh, <laughs> cut that out. Silva, your her, wife is her very Her exact upset. reaction to that, like, ah, quite. And, like, just like, ah. And, like, turn back around. Just men. I wanted to talk to Captain Reddy and be like... Chances are, we need to gain an equal footing. At least for now, we need to play nice. Because we need that information. Okay. Alright, um, we'll drop that in the chat, or what kind of conversation you want to have, and we'll pick it up there next week then. And are you saying it in front of me? No, I would have said it off to the side. I did actually say that in Ted Silva. I just want you to know, I didn't know you are a made man, Neil Silva. <laughs> Let's cut that out. Someone <laughs> from... You to tell her about the World War because I already dropped bad news this week. <laughs> yeah, because there, there hasn't been the first World War either for her and my... for me either. Oh, so if you were there... You're not aware of... Years, you're not aware the of the Revolutionary War... The French, what is it, French-American War? The, yeah. seven, the Seven Years' War, Civil War, World War One, World War Two. You're not aware of any of these major historical events. She does, in fact, not remember like, the Alamo. Shakespeare yes. just died like a few years ago, like 20 to 30 years ago for her. Didn't Shakespeare die in like the 1600s? Well, yes. yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I guess yeah, you you, 16, you honestly you you probably have seen Shakespeare. You probably had seen Shakespeare face before you got a. You watched weird. him debut. <laughs> I just every single argument Captain Reddy had. She was like, "I'll be honest, that's not it. It like quite literally, it's like that's not your reasoning. Don't make it out to be your reasoning." It's because you don't trust me and you don't want me to have a weapon. Don't yes. make it anything other than that. No, he's he's not trying to hide it at all. 
Well, well no, him, him trying to be diplomatic that... about it, it was something she was like, hmm. He yeah. was trying to point out the fact that you would more than likely do the same thing. So does anyone want to play some League? <laughs> I'm not worried about this. I probably need to go get some sleep. Yeah, my ass I open dead. tomorrow. All right. You yeah, missed yeah. it, Taco. Jacob. He's British. Kill him. <laughs> the British Empire. No, no, we can't kill the British. Why not? Reasons. Because we're we're freaking allied with them for now. Uh, because yes. Jacob, more than likely, my, my group is the one that gave your people your maps and information. There's that. The Lemurian that was in the bottom of the boat is from Salisa home. I don't know if you're still here for that. Um, he no, is Kaji's. Okay. Um, and then yeah, um, Captain Reddy and. Uh, have gotten off onto a great foot. I, there was some tension towards the end of that, so I don't believe that. Yeah, tension no. is the exact point. Okay. There was a lot of tension. I did, I did back you up, though, in the sense that you seem to be safe. Why are you trying to get in my good graces, Josh? I think he just has a thing for the bridge. He does. I don't... I don't think you're an enemy. And don't try to read deeper into my... What's the word I'm looking for? Don't try Fetish? to read deeper into me, so... you jackass. Austin, does Josh know? About what? Yeah, I know. About your... I know. History yeah. and... Okay. Yep. I because know. I've already talked to him about it. Okay. Which is why the helmet has been on. And he knew the answer when I asked. I know what's up. Gonna, I am going to go ahead and call the stream here. Make sure you follow and come back next week for more uh, diplomatic relations. Smash God, that like I, button. <laughs> or the start God. of another war. I guess I we'll almost I I really wish that we we had we go for another thirty minutes because I feel like that it's just going to be going great. <laughs> but that's I, all. I, where we ended is also a good place to end it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a good place right as you walk onto the boat. It's a good place to end. Oh, because th yeah, this Jacob, is not the end of the conversation. Because you got uh, you got sn snapped when I was explaining my weapons. Um, I don't have a normal longbow. The longbow itself is seven foot, and then the arrows that I have in my quiver are eight or five feet long. So you basically have the bow I gave to Co. Yeah, a great bow. Yeah. Is what we call it. It does does two d six damage. Well, it's 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 literally an English like yeah. one of the big English longbows, as opposed to just a normal ass. Okay. Which I told you already, uh, Justin, but you completely forgot about or didn't understand what that meant. Literally an English longbow. Oh, I knew it was a big boy. Just well, it's, well, that's it's, what I mean. I, the English longbow, the typical English longbow, because you're a fucking giant, but. <laughs> well, I thought you were just going to be a native. That's no. I thought. Just nope. nope. <laughs> he is uh, you're an elf, right? Uh, wood elf, correct. Wood elf, yeah. So you got to be speaking with a southern accent. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> because you are from after my timeline, <laughs> little bitch. That's not uh, the last the wood elf that spoke <laughs> with a southern accent around me ended up becoming the bitch of a two-year-old. So be careful. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this this was good. I it's, sorry uh, for I arriving late. I noticed something uh, with good. fifth edition. What's that? Five E combat just takes me out of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's 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 so boring. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> At least I made it a little bit interesting with the mast. <laughs> I, 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 my, like the most interesting thing my character could do was like, okay, target is there. Pop, 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 pop through the floor. Which I don't even think you could technically ne necessarily do even with Hunter's Bark in the yeah, actual I core looked, rules. I looked at it. I think I was thinking of a different spell. But even then, it's like, okay, I looked, I saw him, I went over. 
like two speed and went da. -da. Yeah, he didn't if he move. didn't, if he didn't, didn't die right away, then it wouldn't. Yeah. Pathfinder just opens up a lot more combat options to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited also, for full Pathfinder combat, which means Jacob, you better Which I'm not missing, fucking, god damn it! You not fucking cancel on the 23rd. <laughs> Hi. I almost went once, want him to, so I can, I can fucking participate, man. Just hey, uh, it. it'll be fine. The twenty seventh is the next one. Twenty seventh, also twenty seventh, twenty seventh, which is when okay. I'm closing. Uh huh. Also, and, um, and Justin's well, also not gonna be, be there. Uh, that I might be able to figure something out with Jose. Motherfuck you! Aha! Part time, uh, motherfucker. Hey. hey. Would that boat have killed me, Dustin? Uh, it potentially. It, it, it could have. How? It what was, was the damage going to be? 3d12. No, I would have been standing. I have more than 36 hit points at that time. It would have been 3d12, and you would have had to make a strength save to not fall in the water. My strength saves are higher than my death save, so I would have had a chance of passing it. So it might not have killed you outright, but it, it would have hurt a lot, and it oh, would have put you in a really bad position, because if you made the strength, even if you made the strength save, you then would have been pinned between the boat. You would have been taken out of combat. Until have you ever... people could you play... help you get free. Have you ever played Better Day Solid 4? No. Josh, you should know the answer to that question. Yeah, hold on. I have a clip about being pinned between two boats. That's not an innuendo, Justin. I wasn't thinking mm -hmm. about it that no, way. Oh my God. You stop! You you you, you, you made the facial uh, facial I features as if know. you didn't. I oh my God. <laughs> you see, this is why I don't like having my face cam on. This is why I That's why it's heavy. funny. I know. <laughs> oh man. Then again, when I was DM back in my realm of Earth, you know, I can't keep a poker face. <laughs> mm -mm. So I've had to be like, Not worth that. <laughs> yeah. It's a lightning. I'm gonna make sure this I, is you I, I feel this. like I keep too much of a poker face because Austin is always just like, if "Fuck I, you, Kirby." If I saw you on a casino floor, <laughs> I would go. That's where I'm making my money tonight. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, so basically, to sum up the conversation that I had with Reddy Jacob, uh, he uh, he got called over when I when I went over to board the All boat right. when we, uh, when I was going over. Um, and he, a after introductions and everything and questioning my story and getting it confirmed by the other Lemurian, um, they asked to, t for, uh, to, to take my weapons, which I was less than thrilled with and tried to argue against it. Um, in which case he presented arguments, in which case I presented a argument of well i'm still going to do it i'm going to argue against your arguments and then and then said don't treat this anything else than you being distrustful of me and just wanting to make sure that you could win against a fight with me instead of me being prepared and accurate and secure in my own safety he, he wasn't trying to really hide it at all yeah it's, it's it, more it the, a, it, it, you may have not have been trying to hide it, but he was saying it, trying to, he was trying to make you. it, yeah, he was trying to make it di di very di diplomatic, and she's like, just say it straight up, you don't trust me, I don't trust you. Yeah, he, he was literally being, this is my boat, I'm the captain, if you want to come on our boat, you are going to surrender the weapons, otherwise we will leave your ass on the island. Is basically what your alternative was. Damn right. you know, I think I'm just saying, if he wants information from me, I'm less likely to give it to him, which I stated. 
and then you can start swimming. Uh, that goes against the Navy code. Especially with a, someone who's not hostile. You don't know that. This is a If I'm not attacking, I'm time. not hostile. This well, is a Geneva different time. You don't know yet. anything. Or have they? You have made a hell of a lot of assumptions that they're just going to be like, okay, that's fine. Fuck, people were thrown overboard during all the fucking time. Why do you think she is giving the weapons up even though she knows, like, even though she doesn't like it? Is because she's she knows about how pirates worked because that's the time period that she's used to. I can't wait to insult you by bringing you sweet tea. <laughs> Yorkshire gold, baby. <laughs> wait a second. Uh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> She'll take one sip of the... Is that what you're feeding the big man? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Well, a basic synopsis of how the beginning of next week is going to go is Adam will end his conversation quick aside with Reddy and you will be escorted to the ward room where Captain Reddy and the rest of the party will meet you and discuss everything in detail that happened on the boat, yada, yada, yada. Um, and yeah, as you go into the ward room, Captain Reddy is going to send Juan off for tea and sandwiches. And he's going to come back with sandwiches and sweet tea. Oh, American cold, sweet tea as well. Ice cold sweet tea. Ooh. What the fuck is the you're going to start a war. <laughs> the the best part is is that I'm an assassin. Yeah. If yeah. I attack first, someone's dying. Because if I hit, it's an auto crit. And then Yeah, but if you're auto critting oh. while you're unarmed. I'm ass I'm assuming I can find something to uh, to use. <laughs> Like a cup. An improvised weapon yeah. that does 1d4? Riddick style. I'll be honest. Daggers do the exact same thing. Y you know what the damage thing is? It's called you're my sneak gonna, attack. You're not going to straight up kill anybody. Actually, the difference is uh, improvised weapon is 1d4 plus half your strength mod. I'm, I'm just saying. No, I did it. I mean, let's, if you... Let's see. What, long story uh, short, if you decide you're going to attack, you might take one person with 